What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the City Life Project YouTube channel for yet another live fight companion. For the first time ever on this channel, we are streaming, commentating, and hosting a fight companion for UWC 52. Ladies and gentlemen, that is right. We've covered Lux. We've covered Lux. We've tried to cover <laughs> some other Spanish based promotions. Argent was the Argentina one we tried before they had all those production issues on their end. We've never done a UWC one, so I'm excited that it slots right in over or before Anthony Pettis fighting championship because we'll be doing that here as well. If you're new to the channel, smash that like button and subscribe. Ring that bell for notifications so you never miss an upload, so you never miss a live stream. Hope you all have been enjoying the fights. I know no streams yesterday, but we snuck one in on Friday. We snuck one in on Thursday, and I appreciate all you hanging out with us here today. Vote in the poll question you haven't already. Which which is the better Mexican-based promotion? That's right. Lux out of Mexico, UWC out of Mexico, and there are some other lower-level promotions out of Mexico as well. So if it's not Lux, if it's not UWC in your mind, comment the other one in the live chat here. Uh, da, da. Hockey from home. Um, I don't re recall the time. It was sometime in the afternoon. Uh, I should have went to Anthony Pettis FC. It's like 15 minutes from my house. No way. Yeah, there's some friends of ours in the live chat. Who maybe not who are not in the live chat right here, but who are subscribers of the channel. Uh, Brian and Brittany. Who, uh, yeah, they, they go to almost every single event. They go to almost every single event as well. Um, and they, I think they, they have like, uh, some sort of like membership package or whatever. So they get to do like the meet and greets and all that fun stuff. I voted for Lux. We, yeah, you know, Lux is, they're getting my vote as well. They're getting my vote as well. The go Diego Lopez was also a uh, Lux vet. Yes, he was. And, and they've sent a few fighters to the PFL casual as we meet again. Hey, Funk Master, how's it going? Uh, did you win any money this weekend? I mean. How much? You don't have to disclose the numbers, but you can tell me. Was it a good weekend? Was it a good weekend? Can I can I celebrate? Can I ring the Jamaican horns? Click the cash? Cha-ching? <laughs> All right. And we'll highlight these next two fighters here in a moment as well. Uh, thanks, Hoggy from home. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah, but I got work at 3 a.m., so I'll just watch from my bed. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, what's up, Anthony? Good to see you, man. I like UWC, but I think Lux is a more polished product with exciting fights. Agreed. Even, even the broadcast, even where they take their events, like this is in a gymnasium, right? This is some Muradov fighting league vibes right now, whereas Lux is actually in small stadiums or, or theaters, but still more of a step-up pro league uh, feel to them as well. Um, and yeah, in that last fight, I, I was sorry, I was a little bit late to firing everything up here. And then my roommates just got back one from a hockey tournament in Michigan and the other one from a bachelorette party. And they just, yeah, they wanted to see me quick and say what's up and check on things. So sorry about that. Sorry about that. Hey, good to see you, Roman the Faster. Let's go, champ. Shit's about to start. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, what's up, Amberly? It's great to see you as well. Hope your weekend's going good. Uh, I don't know these promotions. So yeah, they're they're out of Mexico, but Lux is actually pretty good. And we've streamed quite a few Lux fights. That crazy bloody mess that happened a few years ago that I keep ripping on Ariel Hawani for not covering on his show. Let's not talk about it, my, but my picks were top tier. Okay, okay, sounds good, buddy. I, my lips are sealed. My lips are sealed. But uh, I'm glad you're smiling, laughing, smiling. Yo, what's up, Roman the Faster? Oh, I'm pulling a heist this weekend, so I don't worry about it. Okay, there you go. Make up for it with that heist money. Uh, what's up, Degenerate Dane? Good to see you. Hello, Hardcores. Up 650 on one, down 150 on UFC. Well, at least you're up 650 on one. That's good. That, that's good. UFC loss wasn't too bad. Good to see you, Degenerate Dane. How's your weekend going? Lux is the Mexican Cage Warriors. That's such a great way to describe it. Their, their cage is huge in that promotion as well. LFA was awesome. Shout out to Alvin Guzzi Hines. I cannot believe he got it done. That was like he had to dig deep and he did after getting rocked in the second round. He called me uh, yesterday as well. We had a quick little chat. Like no content, you know, involved. It was very much just like one friend to another. Like congratulations and all that jazz. So yeah, super proud of him. 
Um, we will be talking to him eventually and we'll do some content out of it as I got some pictures and stuff like that. I want to, and just like some clips that I'd love to ask him to like talk us through and things like that. Is this cocktail sponsored? Uh, I'm not sure hockey from home. It won't be till after the summer for sure. Hardly roam the faster, but I appreciate your support, buddy. Appreciate your support. Just a junkie. Oh, thanks, Hockey from Home. You're too kind. You're too kind. All right, so the next two fighters that we have in the cage now, ladies and gentlemen, Alexis Miranda against Fausto Gomez. Fausto Gomez is out of Colombia. He's 31 years of age, two and three in his last five fights, and he's on a two-fight losing streak. He's got two KOT KOs, one submission. He's never won via decision, and you guys love how much, or you guys know how much I love that. Uh, but he has been knocked out once. He has been submitted once. He has he has lost a decision as well. So he's lost every which way so far. Um, lost against a three and one guy and four and one guy. So when he took step up in competition, I mean, obviously going from a guy making their debut to a guy who eighteen and twelve, not the best record, but all that experience, like that's a huge step up. But then you know, four and one guy, three and one guy. Okay, someone who should be around his uh, his development level. Four and one guy, maybe just a little bit better, wasn't able to get those done. He's getting another chance, though, as his opponent, Alexis Miranda, is 4-1. and one. He's out of Mexico, and he's only 25 years of age. Three-fight win streak because he's 4-1 and one in his last five. Beat a 2-4 and four guy, split decision. Nah, that's not really what you want to see. Beat a 1-1 one one guy, 1-4 one guy. So, yeah, he hasn't, he hasn't taken that step up yet. Like, this is his step up, so that's going to be interesting to see. Only one finish, and it's all been in this promotion. Honestly, I'll go with uh, I'll go with the, the the more experienced guy right now. And, and again, I haven't seen either of these guys fight, so this could be a very dumb decision. But for the sake of encouraging you guys to make a pick too, as we go on with this, let's just uh, I'm going with Gomez. If Shane's in the live chat right now. And we're doing beer bets. We're going with Gomez. Jamal help gonna help me rob the bank. Uh, so I'm going to nap while I listen to, uh, for 39 minutes. You shall be my ASMR. I'm glad my voice is... I don't know if that's a good thing. Does that mean my voice is boring? <laughs> hey, thanks, buddy. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Everybody, go check out No Chill MMA. Go support his channel. He does great work over there. And guys, I know we faced some connection issues on our PFL stream. I have my laptop handy if uh, if it gets crazy over here today. So far, so good, but... Yeah, there's some things that we're still working on on the back end here. So my apologies for that. I'm picking Hill too, Funk Master. Let's go, sweet dreams. Uh, appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. <laughs> Thanks, Hockey. Well, high school is this fight, right? That's what I said. It's just like compared to Lux that are actually like in arenas or, you know, small arenas or theaters or I don't know if Lux goes to casinos, but, you know, that that type of show, kind of like what LFA did over the weekend. Uh, this one straight in, showed up in a gymnasium, kind of like Muradov. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, but thank you. I don't know. I don't have the odds. Uh, I didn't know it was your birthday. Happy birthday, Isha. The greatest mind in casual MMA mix another year. Let's go. Thank you. Yes, we've made it another year. Thank goodness. But uh, appreciate it, Funkmaster. I still owe Funkmaster a present, by the way. Like I said, I'm going to send you an email here later tonight because I there's a couple of your songs I want to use for something. I just want to get your blessing. And then I finally will post them on the channel, I promise. Um, and uh, and then I'm just going to like just send you your shit. Don't worry. I haven't washed the hoodie yet. It still smells me. It smells like me. It's all yours, buddy. So, and you know what? As as a token for being such a loyal uh, subscriber to the channel and patient, when Kyle gets the new merch going, we'll send you one of like the new stuff and get your opinion on it. So there you go. Uh, win fight, Jim. By the way, round one, guys. My apologies. Four minutes and fifteen seconds on the clock in this first round. Gomez in the blue corner. Miranda in the red. Still better than an Apex. Just Josh in uh, your top tier MMA. I appreciate it, man. Hey, you guys, you guys are the ones that make this so awesome. I mean, without you guys, there is no community. I'll go Gomez. Will you send a petition to Locke Jones in solitary confinement? Ooh, a nice right in the left by Miranda.
Three minutes and 38 seconds on the clock. Looking to land a big right is Gomez. Swing and a miss. Miranda. Definitely looks a little bit more comfortable and loose in there right now. <laughs> Hockey, I owe, I owe Funk Master your present. Hey, cheers, buddy. Hey, real talk to you, man. <laughs> I know us casuals go back and forth and jab every now and then, but it's all love, brother. Three minutes and 15 seconds on the clock. And by the way, I'm a bad friend because I, fin I finally saw that short you posted of me playing one of your songs, and I'll start doing that more often so you can keep posting more shorts about it. Still better than the Apex word. <laughs> uh, so far. That, that, there we go. Anthony said it already. And again, I'm going to start like making PDFs of like certificates for comment of the night. I figure save a fucking tree. If you guys want to print it out and hang it on your wall and frame it, that's fine. But I'm just going to start sending you guys comment of the night. Oh, beautiful low kick by Miranda. And Gomez is hurt. Gomez is hurt. He's invited Miranda to the, to the mat. And Miranda's going, no, get up. Two minutes and 31 seconds on the clock. Oh, my goodness. He's scared now. Oh, what a leg kick to that lead left leg, man. Oh, my goodness. I oh, appreciate you, Hockey. Again, you don't have to do that. You're far too kind. You don't have to do that. Body kick by Miranda. You don't have to do that, Hockey. Please don't. <laughs> you literally do not have to do that. All that I ask is you like the video. All that I ask is you hang out in the live chat. Subscribe to the channel. Hang out, watch some fights with us. One minute and 55 seconds on the clock. Limping around, right? Hey, you two roaming the faster. Appreciate, appreciate you too, man. <laughs> Hockey, I don't think I've won one score prediction. Bro, he is just hopping around there. One minute and 40 seconds on the clock. And Miranda again going for that. Oh, he attacks the leg again. And dude, Gomez, there's no poker face here. It is messed up. And then he throws a kick with it, which is hilarious. Oh, nice left to the body as well. Oh, the low kick again, and I can't believe he didn't trip up on that. Did Gomez, and he tried to walk forward. One minute and 23 seconds. Oh, front kick by Miranda. I've won one? Okay, well, that's good. That's good. I'm, I'm not batting just zero then. <laughs> Right, and then a high kick by Gomez, but yeah, there's nothing on these right now. There's nothing on these right now. Oh, left by Gomez, left hook. Forty-five seconds on the clock. Uh, UFC Fight Pass. UFC Fight Pass. What's up, Robert? Good to see you, buddy. Hey, what's up, Sean? How are you, dude? Thanks for watching uh, the last few videos and streams, man. I appreciate you commenting as well. Uh, the wild game was okay. Kaprizov, oh, another low kick, by the way. And he drops Gomez with it again. 35 seconds on the clock. The wild game, you know, they lost to the Jets, but it was a good hockey game. Kirill Kaprizov had two nasty goals for the wild. Miranda inviting Gomez up. Um, and the fights on Friday were amazing. Big shout out to Guzzi Hines and a lot of, I mean, oh, I think only one local Minnesota boy lost. And he just got a little too cocky in there and got cracked. Oh, man, that lead left leg is, is done. Every time he hits it, it's uh, limping around there. And that is... Oh, yeah, he's limping to his corner, man. I, I don't know if he'll be able to continue. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, Sean, appreciate you, man. Um, hope you've been enjoying some of the fights that have been going down this weekend. There's KSW, obviously UFC. I mean, those are the big two that I've have FOMO about. But uh, no, other than that, there, I know there's been there's been a lot going on this weekend. That leg is whooped. That <laughs> sounds good, hockey from home. Uh, how was the view of the hockey game? Did you have good view? Yeah, yeah, no, they're really good tickets. They're really good tickets. And big shout out to to Hoppy for for treating me. I know I was joking about how like, oh, yeah, my friend to take me to a hockey game and to miss streaming. No, I like again. Big shout out to Hoppy, um, my co host and partner in crime on the Stoda Pod stuff that I do. He uh, he took us out. He took the boys out. Hockey game, a few breweries. I really appreciate them. Hey, what's up, uh, Fowlin? Good to see you, man. What's up, fellas? Mrs. left for a girls' trip today. Can, we can finally watch some fights. Let's go. We got this one and then Anthony Pettis later. And then I'm going to... I'm basically going to make up for the last thin weekends by going ham this week. Thursday, I'm going to be hanging out uh, in St. Paul for the Frozen Four. 
Wednesday, I'll probably be busy as well. But to over the weekend, like we're doing UFC, and we're, we'll cover all the big fights. All right, round two, ladies and gentlemen. He's answering the bell. I cannot believe it. It's good to see you, foul one. Hope, uh, hope all your exams and everything went well. I know we're, like, we're right in the thick of it right now, so maybe you're not done exams or projects or whatever, but getting towards that end of the, the semester. So I, I hope the final push goes well, and yeah, wishing you all the best. I honestly, I haven't caught up with all the fights over the weekend yet, buddy, so I haven't even watched all the UFC fights yet. I, I, I finally caught up on one fight night because I missed that watching LFA. And then I started KSW earlier today. So I'm on KSW, but I think I might just, depending on how late it gets or, or how busy I am on Tuesday, I might do a stream of me catching up on like UFC and some of the other fights. <laughs> it is, it is. Thank you guys. Appreciate you. Am I going to one in Denver? I haven't decided yet. We'll see. We'll see. I know I have to decide soon, but to be perfectly honest. Uh, hockey's a legit fan. Dude, hockey's awesome, man. Hockey live is great. No, I appreciate it, hockey. Oh, and an eye poke. Gomez pokes Miranda in the eye. Three minutes and 52 seconds on the clock in this second round. Is there you see this weekend? I thought Conor McGregor's going to be fighting GSP. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> uh... Any of your hockey teams playing against Peoria, Illinois? They're a is there a are the Wolves out of there? What's their AHL team again? I forget. My bad. Or is it ECHL? I really only follow the Canucks AHL team and uh, the Abbotsford Canucks or the Minnesota Wilds in Iowa. So I and I don't. I, I admittedly just like kind of follow. Oh, a nice right and a left by Miranda. Another left by Miranda. He might finish Gomez here. But long story short, I only really follow the teams and players like rookies and stuff like that on the wild. I don't really watch a lot of Iowa games, but uh, I try to watch a, my fair share of Abbotsford Canucks games, but I haven't, I don't know what team plays out of Peoria because I, I know there's a, there's a AHL team. There used to be Chicago Wolves and I know there's another one in Illinois. I just don't know if it's AHL or ECHL. Oh, some big shots by Miranda. He's trying to finish Gomez now, and Gomez falls to his back here just out of, like, exhaustion and his leg being so messed up, and Miranda attacks him and follows him to the ground right into side control. Miranda, he's got to have more of a killer instinct here because Gomez has got nothing for him. Gomez has got nothing for him. Uh, Islam versus Brock Lesnar this weekend. Hey, thanks, buddy. Appreciate you. Uh, thank you so much for commenting on it was a post or live stream or video, whatever it was. I appreciate it. I can tell hockey fair player, good person. Yeah, dude. Hockey's like such a good supporter. Hey, Palman. Oh, man. Thank you. Congratulations. What's up, dude? I, you did not have to do that, man. I appreciate I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciated just the comment that you posted yesterday, man. Thank you so much for the dono. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> Hope you guys are doing well in the fights this weekend. Didn't get to see KSW yet. No one streamed it. Okay, maybe I'll just like do like a live, <laughs> sit down and watch it late. Rutolo Brothers uh, going crazy in one. Yes. I mean, I'm glad the Canadian got the bonus, but like, of course, the Rutolo Brothers got the, the bonus every time, even though there were some other great finishes on the card and, other, and some other good fights. One minute, 49 seconds on the clock. And by the way, Miranda still can't finish Gomez. Are they ECHL, Sean? Oh, here we go. Postured up here. Not even in mount, just in like modified, not even modified, just 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 knees on the ground beating him up. There's no defensive guard for Gomez. Gomez can barely get to his feet. I mean, props to Gomez for still being in this, but my goodness. Oh, SPHL. SPHL. That's actually a fun league. It's That's a rough and tough league. You'll see some fights in that league. Oh, we'll give you a shout out for sure, Hockey from Home. Really appreciate it. Again, I don't expect that. You don't have to do that. But I know you talked to Kyle already, and he's going to get you some CDs, so appreciate it. High kick by Gomez. Again, there's not a lot on those shots. He's so labored right now, so Miranda goes, come on. Oh, damn allergies. 
Oh, big knee by Miranda. Left and a right by Miranda. Another knee by Miranda. Gomez is covering up, but Miranda's putting on the heat right now. And again, Palman, thank you so much for the donation, brother. Jones versus Sala. Tester, UFC 301. John's on, John's on bail. I saw that story, man. It's just like... Yeah. Textbook John. Hey, Andrew, good to see you, man. Oh, and there's the finish. There's the TKO finish by Miranda. It is over. I love the Tekken TKO that they put on soon. And you know what, man? Gomez, his, his corner probably should have just thrown in the towel after the fight. He could not move it to the ground, but he's a warrior. He's a warrior. Andrew, it's so good to see you, man. Um, I wasn't at a wedding, actually, but the, the wedding dinner party a few weeks ago uh, was great. Thanks for asking. You're awesome. Um, this last weekend, I went to uh, some fights and a hockey game. Don't worry, not Toronto. I won't. I won't uh, bet you at Toronto. Which, by the way, love the man cave. I saw, and and I think you saw the comment um, on uh, Paul Henderson. Paul Henderson. That's one of the greatest moments in hockey, Andrew. So, you know, despite despite me not liking the Leafs, I respect that you have that picture. That's awesome. I should have that picture hanging because that was one of the best moments in hockey history. So I love that, dude. Uh, how about Jones, huh? And Trump would say, what a guy. <laughs> what a guy. Uh, I'm going to one in Denver with Idaho Skatesman, his sister and my wife. We'll be buying cage side corporate tickets for, for uh, 1800 If you're interested, in, I can get a better deal for eight for 3500 uh, how we had it last time. Okay, I will keep you posted like sooner than later. Um, that's that that sounds amazing. I just have to make sure that I have nothing going on there because I, I have a busy early part of summer. Oh, Gomez is still on the ground, man. Looks like he might just be like overheating as well. Because they got ice packs on him and everything. Um, I will let you know sooner than later, though, buddy. Thank you. SPHL. Oh, I see you, Andrew. I see you. Uh, so we just started, and this fight was pretty one-sided. This fight was pretty one-sided. Jens and Jay on a show together would be dope. SPHL, uh, what's it stand for? South Pacific Hockey League, I believe. Nice hockey, yeah, because I think you're, yeah, you're sending it his way. Our local hockey team is the Lincoln Stars. It's been a fun time uh, every time I go. Let's go. Lincoln Stars. I'm pretty sure they're HL. Are they not? Oh, that's the junior hockey team. Oh, yeah, dude. Junior hockey is awesome, man. Junior hockey is always awesome. Yeah, Kyle will definitely probably make a little content out of it. Hockey from home for sure. Again, great win by Alexis Miranda. Gomez just didn't have it. Didn't have it. He's strong. He didn't have the speed. He's got a heart. But he didn't have that. He didn't have a leg after the first round. Oh my goodness! All right, I'm not sure the bout if the bout order is correct for this card. Actually, I'm inclined to believe that it isn't. So we're gonna wait till the next fighters make their walkout, and then we'll update the ticker on the bottom of the screen. Yeah, I saw your post, dude. I saw your post. Sorry, I'm just a little behind in the chat, Andrew. Gomez is done. Yes, he is. Uh, Jiggis verse is getting to UFC 301. Come in event. Let's make it happen. Oh, my goodness. Unless you want me to... No, it's all good, Hawk. It's all good. And like I said, you don't, You really don't even need to send me anything else. Like, I know you and Kyle, like, he's buying CDs from you or whatever. I don't expect anything but you just to <laughs> smash that like button, hang out in the live chat. Dude, Andrew, I've been missing you too, man. I know I haven't been doing a lot of streams all weekend, but uh, it's good to see you here today. I hope you're having a great weekend. Playoffs are about to start soon. I know you're excited for that. But it's it's all, it's always great to have you, Andrew. I dare Kyle to show it on a member stream, and I'll jump on that data watch. I'm sh you know what? That's a good idea. I'll, I'll tell him to do that. I'll tell him to do that. I've seen the highlights of the guy with one and a half arms uh, on one. He was good. Yeah, dude. Uh, so we we did a fight companion for uh, for that Lupini show and impressed me, man. I mean, he struck with it a, a few times. He, his high guard with, again, half a limb was actually pretty good. You can, you, know, you can tell he's made as many adjustments that he can to be able to fight with... Uh, 
with half an arm. I mean, Nick Newell 2.0, except more time. What's crazy is his flexibility, like his high kicks, his and then just body kicks, like really, really you you could tell how flexible he was, right? And you could tell that, like, okay, you, you gotta make up for you know not having one of your tools fully. Uh no, hockey. Don't do it. Don't do it. Uh hitting the guy with the butt of his elbow. Nick Newell's pretty good at striking too. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I I I remember that. That's like when like people were starting to post like like groups were more public on Facebook and things like that. And that's when I started to see more of like his clips on you know Facebook before like Twitter was really even popular at all. Or shoot, maybe it was like right at the beginning of it. Instagram wasn't around yet. Like everyone started to share like MMA clips and stuff over Facebook or their YouTube clicks over Facebook. And uh, I remember seeing a lot of his there. One of the main events killed my parlay. I knew I should have went with Frenchy, but always uh, had to bet French. Oh, or it's hard to bet French. Yes, yes. Yeah, hockey. If you're gonna if you're gonna send it all the way to Kyle, we might as well we might as well make it a surprise. Uh, Isha, have you ever seen a movie called Play Misty for me with Clint Eastwood? No. I I, you know, I used to be a movie buff and like keep keep track of all like the good new movies and, and give them give them a watch. But uh, you know, growing up, like my family, like the blockbuster era, we used to video, you know, video renting era. So that was always a thing, like growing up. And then me and my friends, obviously in high school, like like net Netflix as a streaming platform came out the year I graduated high school. So like movies, and my uncle owned a video store, not blockbuster, but um. Movies are like a big part of my life growing up, but honestly, ironically, when they became so available and there's so many of them, I like, I just, I dove into sports more, <laughs> sports and music more. So like, I, I haven't heard of that one. I don't know even know how new it is or if it's a classic or not. If it's a classic, then I feel bad because I have watched my fair share of Clint Eastwood movies. By the way, I will announce when the next fighters make their walk out here, guys. <laughs> Yeah, and again, hockey, I, I I didn't expect that at all, and I don't expect that, so I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Um, you're far too kind. You're far too kind. Plays a radio host who has a stalker. Yeah, no, I haven't even heard of that one. Yo, what's up, GCN Picks? Hey, thanks for the comment yesterday, too, buddy. They're currently playing poker tournament. Cash big yesterday. Had two parlays with dogs that cash. Let's go. Happy to hear that, dude. And good luck on the rest of your tournament here tonight. Oh, appreciate it. I only tease you, Hockey from Home. I only tease you about that. Because you bring it up. That's why. Like I say, this every stream, guys. I'm never going to ask for donations. I'm never going to ask for memberships. All that I ask you guys, like, sub, comment, and hang out and watch fights with us. Well, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. All right. Pacing for this. I mean, come on, guys. We're, we're in a gymnasium. At least they have a, an English broadcast, which, hey, props to them. I mean, they're on Fight Pass. They probably, like, were like, you know, you need one because we want people to start watching your league. Uh, do, 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 do. <laughs> Thanks, Hockey. It's all in good fun. How was your weekend, Robert? What did you get up to? It was so nice here yesterday. Today was it's like night, night and day total opposite yesterday was so nice basically t-shirt weather you know early spring here in minnesota which can one week you can get two feet of snow one week you can get you know gorgeous t-shirt and and shorts weather but having said that it's still warm here today it's just it's just pissing rain reminds me of home oh well i'm you're making me excited too hog from home uh, this UWC camera looked like a dollar store security camera. Yeah, I know. And you should see the gymnasium that they're in. What's up, Metallica fan? Thank you so much for hopping in. No, I said you do not have to. Oh, my God, Anthony. You're far too kind, dude. Thank you very much. And he's already a member as well, too, so appreciate you, man. Thank you. You're the man. You guys hitting us up with the toonies here today? I shouldn't even say toonie because toonies aren't even worth as much as you guys are hooking us up here today thank you so much guys really really appreciate it you are far too kind you guys are far too kind oh man thank you so much buddy 
I just watched Liverpool versus Manchester United today. It was a draw 2-2. Two, two. Nice, nice. Okay, yeah. Well, he'll keep me posted hockey for sure. He'll kill me posted for sure. Dude, yeah. Thank you, guys. All right. So we have Yoshi Cuevas next year. Yoshi's not his first name, but that is his nickname. That's his fight moniker. All right. So let me update the ticker on the bottom of the screen, and then we'll get right back to it. I think, yeah, after this, I'm just going to go eat and then jump right back on for Anthony Pettis. So if I start a little bit late for Anthony Pettis, it's just because I'm just quickly making dinner. or I've already made dinner. I'm just going to muck some food and then uh, we'll come right back on. <clears throat> Can you guys tell that I was at a uh, sporting events two days in a row? I feel like my voice is almost gone. Even when I take a week weekend off streaming or like a, a few streams off at sporting events. So my voice still gets absolutely rattled. Mm, you know, I will hockey for sure. And I'm sure you will as well. <laughs> Anthony Pettis fighting promotion. It is. Yeah. It, I would say that it's kind of on like Uriah favors a one level, but the production's a lot better. Yes. Isha, you look like you've changed. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, I have shorts on comfy hoodie and a comfy, comfy old toque. 31 has changed me. I'm just playing. I did shave yesterday. Border About to host a big watch party for USC 300. I'm stoked, especially since I'll be on my medical restrictions. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, I still have to make those hockey. I still have to make those. <laughs> All right, we have Santiago... Border boy Luna, who's three and zero as a pro, five and zero in his last five. If you include amateur fights, up against a three and one, four and one in his last five five fights. Yozamir Yoshi Huevas. He's thirty years of age, three one as a pro on a three fight win streak. Beaten eight and two guy in his last fight. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. On the other side, we have Santiago Luna, nineteen years of age. 3-0 in this promotion. Beat a 2-0 guy, 1-0, and 1-0. But three fights on the amateur scene, and he actually beat a guy who's 3-0 as well. So, like, experience-wise, it's like they, they each have quite a bit of experience. He's just beaten one better guy, right? He's just beaten one better guy. Oh, that's a good writing. I think it's... Yes, Combate Global is still a thing. Because it went from, like, Combate Americas to Combate Global. I don't know where it's based out of, though, but... That is a good write-in. By the way, thank you so much for hopping in denial. Appreciate you. Oh, sorry, guys. Friggin' it was so nice yesterday, and then it rained, so, like, allergy season has begun. Gomez lost. He, he lost hockey from home. Uh, I'm going to go with... Uh, I'm going with Santiano Luna on this one. Hey, this ref also refs in Lux. So there you go. All right. Round one is upon us, ladies and gentlemen. Again, if you're new to the channel, smash that like button, subscribe. We do live play-by-play -play commentary, reaction, and interaction with all the amazing folks in the live chat here. I'll go ahead to head with you. All right, so you're going with Quivas. Yeah, this just reminds me of that Muradov stream where I swear someone like they were going from like overhead camera to then someone's like cell phone. You should be on Mastermind with special knowledge of far flung combat promotions. Should be on Mastermind. What's Mastermind? Oh, well, thank you for for using uh, the gifted memberships. Four minutes and forty two seconds. A shout to Dylan for hooking you up with one again. Four minutes and 35 seconds. Yeah, the allergies are hitting me right in the incision with every sneeze. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ouch. Like I said, I hope uh, I hope you're recovering well, buddy. It's a quiz show to see how smart you are. Okay, okay. I've never heard of that. 
But I feel like yeah, I'd, I'd have I'd have some knowledge on some far-reaching MMA promotions. Nice getting Cuevas into. Well, he's in full mount now. Is Luna getting Cuevas to the ground here? In full mount, Cuevas is trying to lock up his left arm here. Shoulders are pushed up against the cage right now. Those being Cuevas. I, I think there is a way. So I will. That's that's on my to do list tonight, Denial. Because yes, you uh you you are owed two now. You are owed two. So I, I'm sure there's a way. I'm just that much of a noob. I I gotta I gotta do some research. But and then, and if not, I'll just hook you. Some I'll just hook you what I owe you and some. And then you can and then you can use them that way. <laughs> Three minutes and fourteen seconds on the clock. You might have got some from from others as well, hockey. Oh, now potentially trying to set up a triangle here is Cuevas from the ground. When Luna was stomp or was uh, slamming him, moves his knees and arms up a little higher here. He could threaten with an arm bar here or. I was just going to say, if Cuevas doesn't get back up to his feet, threaten with the uh, triangle, but Cuevas is back up to his feet. Luna decides to disengage from the full guard. Now Luna looking to box. Luke, Luna almost cracked him with a left hook on the way up, but he just cracked him with a shot there. Two minutes and 36 seconds on the clock. Nice. Oh my goodness. Nice counter right there by Cuevas, but Luna landed a big kick to the body. And oh no, the UWC broadcast is freezing a little bit, but what I did see is a Kind of hopping in with a big right hand by Cuevas. What's up, Mikey P? The audio in this fight pass stream is whack. Yeah, this one, again, pretty low level. Oh, a left and a right by Luna. Luna with the ducking and lands a left to the body, but Cuevas tags him with the right there. Dude, they've each landed some big shots here. A little bit more technical in the striking is Luna, but... Cuevas looks very good. I'll get back to the comments that I missed here, guys, in a little moment. Mikey P, yeah, I was obviously I was busy last night. I was I was offline. Um, and I haven't caught up much with anything today. So I didn't even see that. One minute, 36 seconds on the clock. Which is absolutely crazy if that's true. Because Almeida does not deserve that fight. Okay, it's not true. I was just like, come on here. Come on here. April Fool's was last week, bro. Yeah, I was just going to say, that makes no sense. And I feel like I would have seen that. I feel like someone would have sent that to me. One minute and 12 seconds on the clock and Luna trying to drag Cuevas to the ground. You almost got me. I'm, I'm tired, so you almost got me. My eyebrows were raised. No, yeah, no, Janai, we got to get you back in those for sure. I'll just like jump on one of my other YouTube accounts and just <laughs> actually I don't even know if it's connected, but we'll find a way. We'll find a way and, and I'll make sure it happens. 46 seconds on the clock. Separate again on their feet. Body kick. Oh, beautiful body kick by Luna. Luna with a front kick and a right hand. Cuevas threw a left and walked in, but ate a left by Luna. I knew it. Fuck you. And the wild one, your brother still has to give two. Yeah, they beat the Chicago Blackhawks, which is good. It's good because they lost against the, the Jets. Straight left by Huevas. Front kick by Luna, and that's it for the first round. All right, round two coming up here, guys. Round two coming up here. Again, vote in the poll question if you haven't already. <laughs> Combate Global should have been one on there, but I just don't... I don't think it's based out of Mexico. I'm not 100% sure. If this fight lags one more time... Yeah, the first round, like, right when it started to get a little action-packed, it started to lag a little bit. Hopefully, uh... Hopefully, they plug that cord in... A little tighter now. Sometimes UFC books fights that makes no sense. Yeah, that's why, like, there was, there was, that's why I was still like, 
there may be a chance. It makes no sense. Almeida coming off a loss to Blades. Like, that would just be the biggest slap in the, fl the face to Blades. Like, oh my god. I, uh, yeah, yeah. I saw those highlights talking from home. I saw those highlights. Crazy Curtis probably would have won the decision against Allen had the had he not torn his hamstring last 10 seconds of the round five. You had to give Allen round five because of the injury and Curtis shelling up. So I got lucky. Yeah, there was, there was a few picks uh, on the card that I was surprised I got wrong. But again, I wasn't absolutely cooked on the card. And the ones that I was rolling the dice on, I wasn't too upset that, well, the main event in particular didn't didn't hit. All right, round two, ladies and gentlemen. I feel like that was that was a long time between rounds. Because he's a Kachuk. I'm surprised his dad didn't even get that many hits. 327 Hernandez. Yes. Four minutes and 36 seconds on the clock. Right to the body, fall by a left hand by Huevas. Uh, I didn't hockey. I figured we were everything was good. But if he wants me to email him, I can. Uh, Mikey P cleaned up 1500 between Thursday night and Saturday night. Damn. Four minutes on the clock. High kick by Huevas. Charlie Campbell looks so good. I think he could be someone. Yeah, his boxing is 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 really good. Straight left by Huevas. But man, shout out to Trevor Peak still. Like even when he gets tired, and I feel like his cardio is getting a little bit better. Even when he gets tired, like he's still just a beast. He's still just a beast as far as like just continues to walk forward, continues to fight. A lot of heart. Three minutes and thirty five seconds on the clock, and Luna still out striking Huevas here. The left and the right by Huevas and. The counters by Luna are beautiful. Looks like he slowed down a little bit there, but he goes in for a takedown and easily gets it on Cuevas. Three minutes and 20 seconds on the clock. But yeah, no, Charlie Campbell, I like him. I like him. I'm excited to see him uh, fight next. Excited to see who he fights next to. Oh, big left from the ground as Luna. Luna gets back up to his feet, looking to find that entry. Cuevas on the ground. Cuevas, I don't know if he's looking for an up kick, looking to grab maybe the arms of Luna on his entry. Luna with the kick to the leg. Shoulders of Webster are up against the cage, though. I put my 1FC bet Thursday night and said, if you want to wake up to money, take this plus 900 on 1FC parlay, and it hit, and none of the Discord took it, so never posting picks again. Damn, I don't know how much of the, the community bets on one championship other than Activate A. Camels are right, but no chance you'll ever get close to a belt. I bet him against Peak, though. Don't get me wrong. I love to yell, I'm peaking every time Jeffrey fights. See you, Hoggy from home. Thank you so much for all the support. Have a good evening, and we'll see you tomorrow. Nice. Big shots here by Luna in the top position. I turned off the UFC because it was shit. <laughs> so I could spam. Okay. Well, fair. I, I I would prefer you don't spam in here. Not that you have. I'm not saying that you have at all. But if, if he wants you to spam, spam away. Hey, what's up, buddy? Just jumping in. Where are we watching? UFC Fight Pass. UFC Fight Pass. What's up, Chad? How's your weekend going? Um, like if he does, we go hammer the big red streams. Somehow his entire community of trolls that tag his channel is random fuck. I know, dude. And it's like... I yeah, they're they're absolutely crazy and they've been attacking a bunch of people and I, it's it it's shit's fucking gross some of it man like it's it's fucked up so. <laughs> Dylan's like the like the knight of YouTube now he's exposing and calling them out for all that shit and yeah it's shit's nuts shit's nuts I, I was in a few of their chats too, um. Especially like the first one when all this when kind of it exploded randomly because it was ones before that everyone was just hanging out and, and talking and that's what it all started. But uh, I missed the recent one. Like I wasn't I was offline yesterday, but the last one I was in it everything started to smooth over. But yeah, sh um, but yeah, obviously I wasn't there yesterday. 
Hey, thank you so much for re-upping your membership. Or if you were given a membership, big shout out to Mr. Grant. I think it was Mikey P and Dylan for hooking us up with them on Thursday. I'm not sure, Amberly. I'm I'm not sure. 15 seconds on the clock. Three split decisions in a row. Yeah, I haven't watched the UFC uh, card yet. Uh, just got home from the second job. The Tigers dropped two to the fucking Oakland A's. And that is it for the second run. I can't believe that whoever is still surviving this fight. Uh, <laughs> Hockey, I'm not going to lie. I probably don't have enough time to go over the whole stream, but I'll, if you hit me, hit me up with the link, I'll, I'll, I'll sift through the parts that you were on for sure. And again, if you're a mod for his channel, you know, focus on his channel. Don't, don't just spam my channel on, on his platform. That's, that's not what you're doing there to help him with, right? I'm sick of the Apex cards. DFC card was pretty decent. I thought the last fight was awesome. Judges were on straight crack. I feel like that's becoming more and more of a trend here. And again, big shout out to uh, Toggy from Home, Anthony Palman, and uh, and my boy Reaper Jones. Can't wait for the next Ryzen stream. Morgan Shepay fight was a banger too. Um, so man, great to be back here. Sorry that I can't see the UFC card. I'm busy prepping for WrestleMania. No worries, man. No worries. Hey, I wasn't even streaming last night. Anyways, I was, I was out watching the Minnesota wild game and this is UWC, not UFC. So this is just some low level Mexican MMA that, you know, I wanted to see if it was as good as Lux and Hey, we were able to stream it here before Anthony Pettis. So we fired up. Oh, big left hook by Luna. Big left hook by Luna. He drops Cuevas. Cuevas covering up and it is all over. It is all over. 40 seconds, not even 30 seconds into the fight. Into the third round of the fight, I should say. I know they go like this. I couldn't believe that Huevas even survived to make it into the third. Wow. But uh, hope you're enjoying WrestleMania. I know that was huge this weekend too. Some good news, apparently, the tournament that I'm in has a high hand reward every hour. I just want it. And Ace is full. Let's go. Let's go, dude. <laughs> yeah, but I, I don't necessarily want that hockey from home. I don't necessarily want that. Morgan being minus 1,000 after round three and losing a split decision. Hey, what's up, uh, my man, Jesus? Is Mexico MMA certain or circuit getting better? It is, man. With more Mexican fighters doing well on Combate Global, with Lux just being arguably a better promotion, and uh, and then smaller leagues like this that are sending guys to Lux after they win these belts or or whatever. Yeah, I, I feel like it, it is getting a little bit better. From the first two rounds, clearly. Yeah, I I. I I haven't been able to catch up on UFC yet. I'm kind of doing it in order. I got, I got caught up in one fight night. Um, I'm halfway through KSW, and then sometime tomorrow, I'll catch up on the rest of UFC. Oh, yes. If if he's if he's saying you can do that for yours, by all, by all means. I'm just saying, like, you, you don't have to, and please don't do it for mine. Yo, what's up, Ethan? You'll probably be back later tonight for the Pest Card. Sounds good, buddy. Thanks for stopping by. Check out my... Check out the party with Marty show that has AEW Dynamite on Isha, and I'm on at 27 minutes, and again at 40 minutes. Check me out. Hey, comment that on um, the post I made for this video or the last past video. Comment the link. And then I'll check it out after this because there'll be a there'll be a reminder and everything. Yes, it is on uh, Fight Pass. Morgan was robbed yesterday, but I gladly took it. Sounds good, hockey. Hey, what's up, Sage Four Twenty One? Good to see you. Yeah, man. Good afternoon. How's your weekend going? Uh, 
About that, I was going to get the premium pass, but my card wasn't good enough, so my PayPal card is coming, and I hope that would work. Oh, dude, I appreciate it. Yeah, I don't know if Anthony's fighting on his promotion. He should... No, no, he's not fighting. He is... Uh, he's brought... Every card, and he's smart, every card he brings in, like, um, well-known fighters. Like, he's had John Jones there before. Um, he's had other, other local fighters. Um, he's bringing Dustin Poirier for this one. So a lot of fighters, like obviously his brothers, you know, involved as well. A lot of fighters he invites to the show and, you know, tells them, Hey, can you do a little, you know, can you pump it up a little bit to come into the, cause even John Jones came into the cage at one point, like before the main event was just like, Hey, shout out to Anthony Pettis show. This is awesome. Rolled out the red carpet for us. Blah, blah, blah. Right. Um, I think your eye favor was there at one point too. And, you know, shouted each other's leagues out. So, so yeah. Um, but he's not fighting in it. However, um, Uriah Faber's fighting a combat grappling fight in his promotion coming up. Has the beautiful Carla Torres fought yet? Uh, I don't think so. I started a little bit late though, and I and I started at five thirty Eastern, so I'm not sure. That's when it's that's when it was televised or five forty five Eastern. So it started at five thirty Eastern. So I'm not. I haven't seen her fight yet. Uh, these UFC fights are just super close decisions, and I feel like uh, fights get rode out by both guys to split too often, legalize open scoring. Yeah, Amberly isn't. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, GCM picks. What the hell, dude? Thank you, buddy. You did not have to do this. And just keep making your money there. <laughs> keep winning them poker games, dude. Uh, are you far into the tournament right now, dude? Again, thank you so much. You guys, you guys are fucking, you guys are fucking awesome, man. You guys are awesome. You're seriously. Appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for the. I'm just going to say it, loony, even though it's worth more than a loony. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, Amberly. Amberly is not uh, is not hockey from home, Mikey P. No, Amberly's awesome. They're, they're both awesome, but they're both different. Hockey from home has three accounts. She's hockey from home, hockey from home two, and hockey from home three. Uh, where are they fighting in Indiana tonight? That's a good question. Give me one sec. That's a good question. Uh, it's in Hammond. So it's at the Hammond Civic Center. Uh, I sent the link in the post of the event. Okay, sweet, sweet. I'll check it out. Yeah, guys, thank you again. Really appreciate it. Uh, yes, and I'm Vincent Altman. Definitely a single business person. Real innovation with the names hockey. One, two, and three. Hey, simple, to the point, easily understanding. Hammond, Indiana's trashy. I've never, I've never been there. <laughs> But uh, maybe it's maybe it's cheap to rent out that space, the Civic Center, for an event like this compared to some of the bigger cities. I'm not. I'm not sure. Again, it's a smaller promotion, but uh, the the production is actually pretty good for it. Definitely step up from you know, in all due respect to UWC, which hey, 52 events. Oh, is that where you're from? What a case! Hey, what's up, Charles Barkley? Uh, Heaven Civic Center is the mech of combat sports venues. Well, there you go. There you go. I've never been. I've never, never been. Spell what, hockey? Mm. I will let me down. All they had to do was not let South Carolina get 25 more offensive rebounds than me. Box the fuck out, ladies. All right, we're waiting the next fighters here. It looks like we might have Hugo Oyazan against Marco Antonio Elpidio. 
Oh, Anthony Pettis got you. Uh, you got me. Dude, I'll have to re-add it because I took all, I took off a lot of sounds. Well, I didn't intentionally. When I had it on there and played it, that one stream that you asked for. And what's up, by the way, big shout out to Musical MMA. Fun and fun YouTuber, good guy. If you're into music, he takes requests and jams out on stream, which is awesome. And he also does uh, some fun and comical MMA stuff as well. So big shout out to Musical MMA. Um, I'm not going to lie. The first time I saw a stream, I was very confused as to what the fuck was going on. And uh, <laughs> and now we're friends. And now we're friends. And I love supporting his channel. Um, it was cool to see him play my favorite Oasis song the other day. So shout out to him. But uh, I ask me, not on the Anthony Pettis one, but on the, our next fight companion, like next day, because I have homework. I have three more from your guys' suggestions to add here. I got the backpack Dora sound as per Hank the Tank. I got uh, a beer opening from Hockey From Home. Uh, Sean also sent me one as well. I have to double check what it is. I wrote it down, but I forget off the top of my head. So I will get that one back because I think I still have the file because I like I edited it, but I don't have it on the pad right now. I think the only ones I have right now are the George St. Pierre, not the impressed by your performance, emotional damage, cha-ching. I got them all written down. Uh, the beautiful one, oh my God, Jamaican horn. It's over. And uh, exactly that. 15 minutes away. All oh, right. That's that's what you said earlier. Duh. Duh. Dun, 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 dun. Sorry, I'm just saying my opinion. Most towns are trashy there. Just like here. I used to live in West Lafayette and Brazil. You used to live in Brazil? Damn, Sean. Uh, it's Anthony Pettis, but he is embarrassed about the R. <laughs> oh, Petrus. Miss Rose. What is up, Amberly? Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, you said crack in the beer. Confusion is usually the first response. Well, see, I learned because last time I was confused, but then I got it. But then I got it. And I played it, and I thought you were in the stream. I thought you were in the stream, but... uh I still have like the audio saved because I used it in the video not like recently, but like less than a year ago. So there you go. Next fight companion. I'll do it and I'll have it in case like you're not there. I'll just wait for you to jump in. Yes. Toilet flush for boring. That's what it was. That's what it was. I did write that down too. I can only hope to get on your soundboard one day. I'm trying to think of like what what would I put on there? What would I put on there of yours musical MMA? Brazil and I didn't even know there was a Brazil Indiana. <laughs> Man. And here and here I uh and here I rip Americans for not knowing small towns in Canada. And here I don't even know. I don't even know Brazil Indiana existed. That's my bad. My bad. Uh who won the last fight hockey? Uh, Alexis Miranda. Or sorry, uh Santiago Luana, he won. I like Guru's Marab rant from last year. Yeah, so I... I Musical MMA... I, I don't think you were under this account name, but so, someone came into my live chat and asked for that, and I was like, that's super random. So then I got it for one of the streams, and I played it because someone else brought it up. I forget who. This was a while ago. Um, but yeah, but Musical MMA is himself or whatever account he was using before that wasn't in that stream. All right, I'm just going to update the ticker on the bottom of the screen. So this looks like it is the featured fight here. Quick little main card. That's the thing. I don't know if they were even streaming the prelims, guys. If they did, they might have been like on Facebook or something like that. I don't know. So my apologies, missing any of uh, the fights before. We signed on, what was it, 545 uh, Eastern, and we've just been humming since then. Uh, da, 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 da. the one I went had head to head with you I mean uh, there's even a Paris Illinois uh, I like Marab but he, respond, his, but he responds hilariously <laughs> sounds good hockey a lot of people call me that I think that's Guru, Guru the musical but I'm not sure uh, next time you pop into a music stream I'll improv a city life project jingle sounds good that would be the third person to make a city life song on the channel um 
our boy uh funk master flay this is like he's he's a hip-hop artist and he made this song i want to play it in the background here This has become like the anthem. City life, city life, ayy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably, yeah. Sipping on some syrup, I feel Canadian. City life, yeah. And the other one I, I haven't saved like the uh, the MP3 for. Someone sent it to me in like a Twitter video, but I, I got to get that one done because that one's more of like a pop punk one. And they even start singing in French because he knew I knew how to speak French. And like it was just, it was just wild. The guru response are funny. Uh, I think everyone should cut John Jones some slag. It's a clear case of mistaken identity. Clear, identity clearly confused the testing lady with his own wife and acted accordingly. Oh my god. <laughs> as fucked up as that is, that is the new comment of the night. Yeah, I used to be Guru the Musical Guru is going to strike my channel, so I had to change the name. Hey, well, now Guru's donating in your live chat. You guys have come a long way. Uh, Luana, uh, Hawking from or Luna, sorry. He was a clown, man. <coughs> oh, nice spinning heel kick by Oyaz, uh, Oyarzan. We are in the round one, by the way, guys. Sorry about that. Four minutes and 27 seconds on the clock. If I miss any of your comments, I'll try to get back to them as soon as I can. Four minutes and 20 seconds on the clock. So the eight and two, uh, Chilean is, is that you say Chilean man from Chile? Hugo or Yarzan. Eight and two is a pro. Four and one in his last five fights. And he's on a four fight win streak right now. And I can see why. Guy's talented. Double left and a right by El uh, Pidio. One KO to go. Three submission. Four decisions for Or Yarzan. Four and no in UWC. Uh, yeah, his last four wins haven't been against that good opponents. And we did take a step up in competition. He lost. He does have good technique, as you can see here. His opponent, a lot of experience in pro mixed martial arts. Not the best record, though, but I've seen worse. I've seen worse in Ryzen. Hank is smiling with that comment. 30 years of age, 3-2 and two in his last five fights, and he lost his last fight. Uh, five KOT goes, three submissions, nine decisions. Four and three in Combate Americas. Which Combate Global is just like, the next version, keeping it alive. Uh, three zero and one in JFL and two one and one in Budo Sento Championship. Uh, B six and four guy thirteen and five. He actually has some decent wins on his record. He actually has some decent wins on his record. From just looking at it right now in the first round here, we got two minutes and forty seven seconds on the clock. Another high kick by. Oyarzun, like I can definitely see Oy, like Oyarzun's talented, maybe even more talented, but Elpido doesn't look out of place at all here. His striking's good. He just hasn't found his range yet. Utilizing some leg kicks as well. Inside low kick there by Elpido. Two minutes and 19 seconds on the clock. Outside low kick again by Oyarzan. Sorry, guys. It's rain today after a super nice spring day, and the allergies have arrived. Continuing to pressure Elpidio outside that center line is Oyarzan. Double left jab by Elpidio inside leg kick. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Guru's depressed. I told him that you should start watching Ryzen. <laughs> That'll make him happy. Softer kicks. I'll be, watching all, I'll be watching all these people for a while. My jingle will inevitably sound like a homeless man on crack, but I'll make it work. It's, you know, hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, were you able to do any busking this weekend? One minute, 17 seconds on the clock. John has been cut a lot of slack. That is true. That is true. Got to keep dinner now. I'll be back for pet. Sounds good, buddy. John Jones, hard to tell what's really going on. Yeah, all of you guys are musicians. Hockey, you're far too kind. 
I will leave you to your scraps chat. Have a lovely stream, mate. Thank you so much, man. Again, can't wait to hop in uh, one of your musical streams soon here. And appreciate the support. Throwing it right back at you, my man. You're good people. You're good people. And I appreciate you. <laughs> I do <need> someone. <laughs> El Pidio. I mean, yeah, it's... Uh... <laughs> not, not, not the best name for... Uh... This last name for someone to repeat over and over again. Uh, no, it honestly like just hit me like a few hours ago. A mix of you know a little sleep, a night of drinking some beers, not eating healthy food. Um, didn't have didn't work out here today, so didn't really get a sweat on. Oh, and falling to the ground there is El Pidio after throwing the kick. His opponent caught it and just kind of making LPDO off balance threw him to the ground. No, I usually try to stay off allergy medicine the most I can. Makes It doesn't matter what it is. It makes me super drowsy. Yeah, but again, hockey, I, I don't... Ex I want to make it clear that like I don't expect you to do that like i i'm i'm very thankful um you're awesome and i appreciate it but i just want to make that very clear hey if you guys support us i support you a guapo is a good name yeah okay yeah and it's weird when i was younger like some worked and then they stopped working and like other brands would work like, you know, Claritin does nothing. But back in the day, it actually did something. So I don't know. I just. Everyone's body changes as we get older, too. And yeah, we'll see. We'll see if it gets really bad. We'll, we'll have to maybe address it. But for now, we're all, we all right. We all right. I was trying to say I, right, but I'm stuffed up. No, and. and like I said, Hockey, I really appreciate that. You're awesome. All right, round two. Let's get it all. Four minutes and 50 seconds on the clock. Outside low kick by Oyarzun. Oh, high kick by LPDO. Outside low kick by LPDO. Double left jab and a right hand by LPDO, but doesn't land his target. Outside low kick by Oyarzin. I had a cold in my head. It was so stuffy. It was annoying. Yeah, it is annoying, but hey, it, it's, it beats the flu or, you know, stomach issues or honestly even like back spasms or anything like that so i'll take a cold even even over some muscle legs oh a nice left hook by lpdo three minutes and 55 seconds on the clock in the second round just drink a lot of fluids yeah yeah i've been uh i've drank already two and a half liters of water here today and only two cups of coffee but that's a good point in between this stream and pettis i will get some more water maybe even some tea Three minutes and 34 seconds on the clock. Hey, you're a good guy. You're a good guy. Appreciate that, though. Yeah, by the way, we hit 9,000 subs over the weekend and almost 1,000 views on Kyle's last video that he posted. Seriously, thank you, guys. Kyle and I got some fun stuff planned for, for 10,000. And, uh, and we hope you... yeah. You'll see. Well, and we'll announce it soon once we get our plans together for filming a few things and we'll host a stream. And yeah, I think we've got three separate pieces of content to say thank you guys for, uh, for 10,000. But wait, count cat, can't count the chickens before they hatch. We got a little bit of, we got a little bit of a, a grind left before we get there. Uh, hey, you should get my coffee and trees in. Let's go. Let's go, Sage. Good to see you. I saw you pop in earlier. What's well, been fluctuating up and down all day? <laughs> there's a, there's always that. Two minutes and twenty seconds or twenty five seconds on the clock. Inside low kick, left and a right by Elpidio. 
Oh, outside low kick by Opita. Yeah, oh, Yarzan is slowed down. That was a good hoggy. Oh, nice high kick by Oyarzan. Again, Oyarzan's technique is awesome, but not as quick as he was in that first round. Left and a right by Elpidio. Left uppercut by Elpidio. And looking for the takedown again here. And Elpidio, he he got it. He's clenching both the legs, trying to pull him back up against Cage, but a good job by Oyarzan. Oh, oh, uh, he did kind of grab the pit. That, that was an unpleasant noise I just made. Grabbed the cage a little bit there. But it was after he got up. I still He's still dead to me, but it was after he got up, so it's not like he used it to get back up. I still don't like that. Nice foot stomp by Elpidio. Uh, I'm almost at 200 subs too, which means I'll make more things coming to my channel. You still might hit 100 more subs. I'm going to do something else to my channel on top of the usual. Nice hockey. Yeah, no, every time you stream, you grow your channels. Because I've seen it. When you did juniors, when you did some NHL games, Elpidio seems fresh. So yeah, no, he he does, man. And I, that's where that experience comes in too, right? Again, 17 and 9, 17, 9 and 2, not a great record. But this ain't, uh, oops. But this ain't no uh someone's trying to call me. But this ain't no uh guy like in Ryzen who's like you know 15 and or 17 and 15, for example. All right, let me get back to live here. Uh you should get a button for saying peace hog. I should, I should. That's funny. At least Wyman didn't grab the cage. Yeah, at least, at least that. That is true. Nice hockey from home. Hey, what's up, Hernan? Good to see you. Good to see you. Our final seconds of this second round. Look where the takedown is. Elpidio, he's not going to get it here at the end of the round. And that is it for the second round. All right, round three coming up, guys. Round three coming up. Yeah, I just grabbed a bunch of eyeball. Yep, three times. See you later, hockey. Mm -mm. Sorry, my dad, my father's saying what's up. I don't even have my phone handy either, so I'll text him back here in a little bit. Uh, my Dodgers are getting their butt tossed, so I thought I would tune in some MMA action. You big Dodgers fan? I haven't done a Canucks game yet. Canucks are always fun streams. Their fans hockey can be really, really good or really, really bad, though. And I mean, just like they can be super nice and supportive or very mean. But for the most part, everyone in your chat's awesome. Uh, as it had many finishes in this card. Um, the Alex Miranda one was a nice finish. Uh, the Luna one, that one went the distance, and I missed the Torres and Odeth one. So out of the... Th this is the third one that we're streaming now, and we've gone 1-0 uh, in finishes. I mean, you don't have to do it just for me, Hockey, because I know you're a Canucks fan as well. Four minutes and 42 seconds on the clock. Inside low kick by Oyarzan. And a good job by Elpidio throwing some inside low kicks as well. And again, first round was Oyarzan walking forward. This round is Elpidio. And a lot of the second round too. He's kind of been taking over that octagon control. Shoyo Tani got struck out. Wow. Nice. You let me know when your schedule comes out. Now let I'll let uh, the group know too. Four minutes and 12 seconds on the clock. Sorry, Blackhawks. Go wild. Actually, to be perfectly honest, I want the wild. I don't necessarily want them to lose out because, you know, I cover this team and that's just, you know, it's, I don't necessarily want that. What I do want is for them to get Z Zeev Booyam in the draft and he's probably no not going any later than 10. So they need to, they need to nosedive here to get that good draft pick. 
Screw that cheating. <laughs> All depends on the timing of these games. No, I know hockey. I know. Three minutes and 38 seconds on the clock. Now Pedio with the body lock right now. Trying to drag Oyarza into the ground. Does Luca do the live streams with you? Or has he? Or they break. Three minutes and 20 seconds on the clock. Oh, and a nice right uppercut by Oyarzan. Body kick by Oyarzan. Ooh, that was intense. Yeah, keep me posted. Push kick by Oyarzan as LPDO. Try to get in close. Body kick by LPDO. Oyarzan with a few hooks. Front kick by Oyarzan. Oyarzan with the final, like, pushing on the gas here. Taking advantage of whatever strikes he can throw. Elpidio is throwing a lot of pressure on him. And beautiful takedown. Beautiful entry there by Oyarzan. Kind of shuffled to take the back of Elpidio. But while doing that, Elpidio was able to get back up to his feet. But the body lock is still... Available for Oyarzan. And he takes it. He's trying to drag Elpidio to the ground. Just grew up on him. And you've been ups and downs. Blackhawks? Yeah, there have been definitely some ups. There have been definitely some downs. How good did Bedtime look in that Daisy Dukes? The jiggle had me giggle. Dude, he is a character, man. He's fun to root for. May not be the best fighter in the world, but he's fun to root for uh, for sure. He is... He is Hoser Canadian at its best. Oh, okay. You, you might get him on as a guest talk. He got you. One minute, 38 seconds on the clock, and they break here. Elpidio pushing forward. You can see Oyarzin breathing heavily here, trying to keep Elpidio off of him, out of range. Those push kicks. Good head movement there. I mean, one minute, 26 seconds on the clock. Elpidio's a little tired, too. Yo, fair enough. I was just asking. I was just asking. One minute, 16 seconds on the clock. Knee to the leg of Oyarzan. Fifty-five seconds on the clock. Still fifty or forty-five seconds now, and Elpidio just has the body lock and is just trying to. Finish this takedown. Less grabbing, more just like following through with that right shoulder, trying to get him off the cage. And now he does grab him and drag him to the ground, but he falls to his back. And Oyarzun falls right into side control here with his knees planted. A way better position for Oyarzun to end this third round on. 22 seconds on the clock. Sounds good, hockey. Yeah. Hey, if he, he's interested, I'm sure he knows a lot about the sport. Appreciate it. But if I'm a mod, I gotta I gotta be I gotta be active in your chat. Pull him right on top of you. Good plan. Yeah, right at the end of the fight, too. And that is it. That is it for the fight. I imagine Oyarzan's gonna win. He just landed more, even though he slowed up. They'd straight up have cheerleaders in the cage, too. That's hilarious. Um, Marco Antonio El Pidio never faded and actually looked good in parts of the second. I do think Oyarzun easily won the first, and based on how the second half of that third round played out, I think he won that one as well. But he's gassed, as you can see. So he's going to have to work on that. Uh, as he continues to develop, but second round, I could see going to Marco first and third round going to Hugo. Uh, I thought you mentioned a hockey, but if, if not, don't worry about it. Uh, I just tried to donate and it said it, I did it, but it didn't show up weird. Check, check your email. Cause usually they'll send you like a receipt right away. 
So maybe it glitched out and didn't go through. And Robert, you don't have to do that, by the way. I'm just, I'm just pumped that you're here, buddy. Sounds good, hockey. Right, right. Hey, fair enough, fair enough. Like I said, though, if you did want to, I'd help out. But I, it's fine either way. It's fine either way. I'm, I'll drop in and say what's up, like I've done before. It's all good. Is that tonight? Or tomorrow, I guess. All right. Next fight coming up here, guys. Next fight coming up here. I think it's the co-main event. Let's hope we see some uh let's hope we see some finishes or some scraps. That one was that one was fine. It, it wasn't bad, but you know, it was it wasn't that great though. Let's let's be perfectly honest. We do have a title fight at the end. I don't think it's a five round title fight. Ganskow is uh is WUC or do, do WUC have Title fights that go five rounds or are they just three? Okay, we're still awaiting the official decision, by the way. So we're listening in now. So one judge had Oyer soon. One judge had it for El Pedio, so it's going to be a split decision. Bro, Marco Antonio Pedio wins split decision. Wow. Hey, he's got heart. I don't necessarily agree with that. I do think Oyarzun landed the better shots, but like I said, I'm reading the chat as well, so I might miss a few of those few ones, some key ones, but no, good job for him. Weathered the storm early, was able to, well, he had the better cardio, and there you go. Some sometimes it will do, but won't go through. Like after five minutes, it will be canceled, and you can't attempt don't know again. Oh, okay, got you. I thought you were talking. At first, I was reading that, thinking that you were talking about the the rounds. It's tomorrow at two p.m. Eastern. The solar eclipse. Hopefully, it's not covered by this rain. Um, my YouTube won't let me become a member or donate even after signing my documents. Really? Hey, well, I'm just glad you're here. Like I said, man, I'm just glad you're here. Oh, Robert, thank you, buddy. It were to cancel, so here it is. But dude, Robert, you didn't have to do that, man. See, <laughs> I know you know that. So I know, I know you all know that, but I just, I want to let you guys know that I'm just fucking pumped that you're here hanging out with us on a Sunday, watching some MMA, some lower level Mexican MMA, but we're still here. And yeah, Robert, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate the support you show this channel. Um, you said I was a good man earlier. You're a good man, man. You're a good man, man. Thanks, Palman, Anthony, Hockey, Reaper Jones, GCN picks and, and Robert as well. You guys, you guys are fucking awesome. Thank you so much. Every single one of you watching right now, I appreciate you all. Amberly Rose is still here. Let's go. What's up, Amberly? Glad you're still here watching too. What's up, Mateo? How was uh how were your plans yesterday? I don't know about the five rounds. WUC is lower on the priority totem pole of promotion. No, of course. I, I was just wondering if you knew because you actually have watched them more times than me for sure. I canceled it somehow, but I got it. Hey, thank you, man. Seriously. I, I really appreciate it. You should let you jump on whenever you feel as many times as you can want, and I'll let you jump on. Just let me know beforehand during the stream. Can you read this comment? Yes, I've read the comment. Robert is a G, yes. Okay, apparently the Anthony Pez prelims right now in India. Yeah, the prelims, like there were a lot of prelims. The prelims have been on since 3 p.m. Eastern. Thanks, buddy. Oh, Anthony's saying it happens to you a lot. You know, it's probably, that's what I said. Always check to see if you get a receipt because it's happened to me as well. Uh, I wish I would have known it was Indiana. I would have gone there. They they come to Indiana quite a bit, Amberly. They come to Indiana quite a bit. So uh, just keep tabs on it for next time. Uh, it was fun, but still wish I could have gone to the game. Looked like a ton of fun. It was the... Both Kaprizov's goals were fun, but uh, third period was tough. Third period was tough. 
But no, it was it was a good time, man. Good, uh, met up and hung out with the 10K guys after Seth came out. Um, Hobby stayed out a little a little late too, so no, it was it was all good. And the early game honestly made it so we were all in bed a little bit earlier than we probably would have if it was a 7 p.m. game. And uh, and yeah, it was good. And someone at the freaking Insomnia Cookies across the street from Tom Reed's literally gave us 14 free cookies. Didn't even know, like, there was no contact. We walked in, he's like, I got it, I got it. And I'm like, oh, sick. If I really missed out. Well, there, in fairness, like, Steph will start to be there more often because he finally got credentialed. Well, not finally, he's been credentialed this season. And, um, and the 10K boys are literally there every single game, it seems like. Um, their office is in St. Paul, so just like it's just a hop and a skip to the arena. And I think they have a box and everything through one of their sponsors. Just watch with Pepper Youth questions from my chat. Peace, talking from home. We'll see you. Uh, we'll see you in a little bit. But yeah, now I got the allergies, Mateo. It's like yesterday was so nice, t-shirt weather, and then today it pissed rain, and now I feel like everyone who gets allergies, oh, it's hitting us today. <laughs> it's hitting me today, anyways. All right, next two fighters coming up here. Let me update the ticker on the bottom of the screen. Looks like we only have two more fights left on this card, and the last one being a title fight. Again, just want to give a big shout out to everyone who's joining us here today. Appreciate every single one of you. You all are amazing. We actually have like we have some people hanging out with us for this card, which I thought like there'd be nobody here. So again, you guys are fucking awesome. You guys are fucking awesome. Sorry, I'm a little tired and stuffed up so trying to keep the energy levels as, as high as possible not even that we're fading it's just like even though i got a good sleep huh? good sleep and i guess when you go to bed after drinking it's never a good sleep but uh i got some sleep it's you know it's one of those days shout to liquid iv uh, da, 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 da. we going out for the frozen part i'll be downtown thursday but saturday's ufc 300 so with the gophers aren't involved UFC 300 gets precedent. So, I mean, he sounds amazing. Yeah, they're, I mean, they're decent. They're, they're like a decent local cook. I don't even know if they're a chain. They might just be like a one little cookie shop downtown, but they take advantage of like the drunk folks and they close pretty late and they're always like nice and fresh. They're always nice and good, crisp and warm on the inside, chewy on the inside still, even though they got a little crisp on them. Um, I'm, not, I'm like not a big sweets guy. I don't have a big sweet tooth, but my friend wanted to pick some up. And yeah, and the guy on shift was just super nice. Too nice. Nicer than me. He should bring them in with his nonstop natural enthusiasm, which is a gift. Apparently, even though I didn't say shit. Saturday morning, I woke up at my setup with people over. Guess I went too hard playing online blackjack. Jeez. Well, I hope you're feeling better and you're rehydrated, my man. Okay, you know the cookies. There you go. There you go. So I guess it is a chain. Yeah, they're good. They're good. The peanut. I love anything peanut butter. So I had the peanut butter with peanut butter chips. Oh my god, it was good. Well, Alicia, I think it's just you. We like MMA, but you real is in for whatever. To be honest, yeah, I, I, I love it all. I love it all. Well, it's cool to be able to like watch some of these together, and you know, some of them aren't people's cup of tea. And some people end up like becoming a big fan of, and they get kind of their cult following uh, as far as like the promotions grow a little bit, which is cool. Wild rookies balled out today. Nice. That's good. That's good to see. Um, I know Ugrin, he played two games, hadn't scored anything yet. Dash three, but not really his fault. And I like to see him on the power play, but how did, did Murat score? I, I've, I've been streaming. Or I was been prepping the stream and then streaming, uh, so I haven't really watched any of the game yet. I got to catch up on some highlights before the podcast, though. Is podcast is prepped. I'm gonna hit up Seth after Anthony Pettis. So I mean, it was good. Oh, nice! I didn't know you guys got one. That's cool. Yeah, I, I didn't know it was a, a chain, but it's definitely like a Midwestern chain. Desperate shout out. Let's go! I'm so glad he had a better game, and I knew he was playing today, so that's good. I mean, it was smart for them again. On the tail of a back-to-back -back and against the Blackhawks, easy, easy slot to get him a game. But he looked good. Did he face any big shots? I would have been pissed if Bedard scored. All right. Next fight here is about to start, ladies and gentlemen.
So the chat's been buzzing, which I appreciate you guys. So I'll just quickly go over them here. We have Ivan Hernandez Flores, who is 10, 5, and 1. He has only 2 and 3 in his last five fights. He's on a three fight losing streak. Again, actually, pretty good opponents, though. Let's just take a look quick. Uh, the fight is about to begin here, so we'll get back to the commentary, but he's actually fought some decent opponents. 4 KOTGO, 5 decisions, 1 submission. 7-0 in the Supreme Cage, 1-3 in Combat Americas. So he lost to 11-2 guy, Edgar Chares, who's in the UFC, when he was 7-3, uh, and, and then a 10-4 guy. So, like, when he took that step up in competition, he just couldn't get it done. But he's passed all the tests since then. Beat a 5-1 guy and just continued to try to fight... Guys who are clearly better than him and more experienced. He's been knocked out every single time. His opponent, Alan Martinez, super glue, undefeated, ladies and gentlemen. Undefeated, 27 years of age. He's out of California. My God, five KOT goes, three submissions, three decisions, 10 and 0, like I said. And he's actually gone against me. 3 and 0, 4 and 1. Uh... I mean, he hasn't gone up against the best competition. This will probably be his biggest test. God. That was a Dr. Savage unanimous. I guess his, he hasn't gotten a knockout victory. He's fought a lot in 2023. Since early 2023, this is his first fight in 2024. So, yeah, take a little bit of time off when you're going ham last year fighting. But uh, I imagine he's the favorite, but this is his biggest step up in competition yet, despite him being 36 years of age. Nice right hand by Hernandez. Let's get back to the action here, ladies and gentlemen. Four minutes on the clock. Hernandez with the left hand again. Martinez unable to find his range so far. Moran favored the apples. Rossi goal. Nice. That's what you want to see. It was good because favorite played spectacular against the Jets. Rossi, meh, he wasn't bad, but wasn't great. Same with Murat. But uh, glad to see them dominate today. Face some good ones while also limited chance. That's great. That's great. I mean, Winnipeg is a, a, is a Stanley, Cup, or Stanley Cup playoffs team, right? And it's showing that those teams who are ready for that and who stamped their ticket, officially or unofficially yet, but we know they're going to be there. Oh, a nice left and a right and a left by Hernandez as he walks in. Three minutes and 18 seconds on the clock. They're still on their feet here, circling. Pretty big cage here for a regional show as well. Body kick by Martinez. Having said all that, Mateo, like... The Blackhawks are good tune-up games. Good games for these guys to actually get their confidence back coming off a game like the Winnipeg Jets. Oh, yes. First of all, he's the best prospect in the system. Nice takedown by Martinez. Hockey, don't sweat it or overthink it one bit. It's all good. It's all good. Two minutes and 44 seconds on the clock. Don't sweat it, hockey. It's all good. Don't don't overthink it. It's all good. Nice knee as Mar uh, by Martinez as they get back up. Two minutes and 30 seconds on the clock. Looks like they know that Martinez is bleeding here. Two minutes and 15 seconds on the clock. Oh, outside low kick by Hernandez. Hernandez looking good. One minute and 53 seconds on the clock. Step in left. Tried to go for the body was Hernandez, but Martinez blocked it with his right elbow. Oh, yeah, the quality here is fading for UWC. Hopefully they fix that. It looks like a little botched attempt at swinging and banging there by hernandez another knee by martinez martinez tried to get his back tried to grab his back wasn't able to do so one minute First round. Active round by Hernandez. Oh, tried to go for a spinning heel kick was Hernandez. But Martinez caught the leg at the end there. Tried to keep him back on the ground. And again, back up to their feet. Good job by Hernandez to get back up to his feet. But Hernandez, 
But Martinez is landing a knee every time he gets back up. Milne, good old win boy, had a multi-point weekend too. Sick. Yeah, again, hockey, like, it, it, was, it looks like you're overthinking it and it, sweating it. Please don't. It, it really is fine. I'm, I'm sorry I brought it up. 15 seconds on the clock. Sounds good. I'll see you. I'll see you later. Oh, and a nice few right hands as final 10 seconds of the first round. And Martinez ends up getting in the top position here. Half guard. A few hammer fists. He postures up here to try to land an elbow at the end, but he's going to run out of time. And that's it for the first round. Boom, 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 boom. All right, round two coming up. Good, like way better round by Hernandez than than I expected. You can definitely see he's got the he's a veteran here. You can definitely see it. And when he is getting taken down, and there's been some nice takedowns by Martinez, he he gets back up to his feet. Oh, a high kick by Martinez. We're just looking at some of these highlights here. And he landed some big rights on the entry, yeah, but it was only 10 seconds left in the round. <laughs> yeah, I, I, that's the thing. I just didn't want hockey to sweat. It's all good. It's all good. All right, round two, ladies and gentlemen. Again, this ref, he's he's like on the Mexico scene. We've seen him in Lux plenty of time. Can't forget that beard. Can't forget that beard and belly. Round off. two, ladies and gentlemen. Four minutes and 55 seconds on the clock. Body kick by Martinez. Switching up his stances constantly is Hernandez. 30 seconds into this second round. Feels kind of like we should be going into the third round here. Not that that first round like dragged, but just a lot went on in it. Now looking for the takedown is that of Martinez and Hernandez making him pay, but continuing to push through it was Martinez. And despite being tagged with a few big shots by Hernandez, Martinez in the top position here trying to work the ground and pound. Go freaking Rangers. God, I hope the Canucks play them in the finals. That would just be... That would just be some, some good lore there. But uh, Vancouver have a freaking bloodbath path to get there. I mean, the East is going to be a bloodbath, too. This this playoffs, and I say this every year, it's going to be amazing. National Hockey League playoffs are awesome. Better than the best tournament slash playoffs of, of any sport, of any pro sport. Even the Pride Grand Prix, okay? Three minutes and 28 seconds on the clock and trying to get in full mount. Is that a Martinez? And he inches forward, and he does. He gets it. Trying to scramble from the bottom is Hernandez. Big right elbows by Martinez here and trying to scramble is Hernandez. Martinez staying on him. He's got the hooks in. Martinez getting back up to his feet. There's so many good teams. Yeah, it's it's awesome. Good job by Hernandez. Trying to shake Martinez off. Martinez does have the lock, though, here. Martinez threatening with an arm. He's not going to get the arm bar here, but he's at least threatening an attack on it. So maybe Hernandez isn't worried as much about those hooks and more focusing on the arm. It's going to be like uh, an old school Pride Grand Prix though. Yes, with how insane the first round is going to be. Ooh, body triangle secured and now staying on the back and securing it despite not having a lot of room to roll here up against the cage are both these fighters. Two minutes and 28 seconds on the clock. And it's good to see you, Charles. Appreciate you, buddy. Uh, 
<laughs> these heel strikes. <laughs> heel strikes as he breaks apart his body triangles out of Martinez. I mean, you got to do something. You can't just lay on him. So I, I guess that's a strike. You said his name earlier, so now I'm about to cook chicken with Poirier's hot sauce. It's actually really good. Um, you can I've been able to buy it in Canada. It's on the shelves in pretty much every grocery store, every bigger grocery store here in Minnesota. Um, yeah, it's good. It's good. And he's gonna be at the Anthony FC or Anthony Pettis FC event. Like I said, a good job by Anthony Pettis with his marketing to make sure that they have some name, you know, some former or current UFC guys, some name fighters at the event that they can help promote around. Back control right now for that of Martinez. Hernandez, good defense. I mean, he hasn't allowed him to really have a submission threat yet, and he's holding on to Martinez's arms for dear life. And the ref is going to stand them up. The ref is going to stand them up. I mean, Martinez wasn't doing anything, but that's a little crazy. That's a little crazy. 8 p.m. Eastern, yes. I'll drown that chicken in McGregor's whiskey. What's up, uh, John? Oh, up kick by Martinez. One up kick lands, another up kick lands. Hernandez is rocked. Hernandez is rocked from the up kick. What are you doing going for the takedown, Martinez? Just go ground and pound at this point if you're going to do that. Yeah, don't go for the choke. Huge ground and pound. Huge shots to, the, shots to the side of Hernandez. Hernandez back up to his feet. He eats a knee. Hernandez is tough as hell, but he's rocked right now. And look at her flying knee. Is that a Martinez? But a swing and a miss. And now Hernandez is in the top position. What a crazy exchange here in the end of the second round. Unbelievable. These up kicks again. Another up kick by Martinez. Guys, I'll get back to the chat here in a sec. But this is insane. This is insane. What a crazy end of this round. Looks like Martinez is going to get back up to his feet, but too little too late. Wow. What a fight. What a crazy fight. What a crazy fight. It's all good, hockey. Save a buck. Save a buck or two. Yo, what to do? What's up, Western Mass Climber? Good to see you, man. Dustin versus Islam. I mean, I'm all right with that. I'm all right with that. Is it going to turn out like Dustin Khabib 2.0? It might. It might. From back, I know. It's crazy. Guess who's back? C'est moi. John, I might just... <laughs> All right, third and final round coming up here. I swear, they take a long time with these breaks. It's definitely more than a minute. If anyone can drop his lemons, it'd be Dustin. Yeah, and he can he can take that early onslaught. He's got some good takedown defense, but... But yeah, I mean, Islam's way to beat him will be kind of like what Habib did, I imagine. No, yeah, that sounds like I would do that too, hockey from home. All right, round three, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it on. Good to see you, Western Mass Climber, by the way. How's your weekend going? Four minutes and 40 seconds on the clock. Straight left by Hernandez. Right and a swing left hook by Hernandez. Oh, and a left by Martinez drops Hernandez. Hernandez back up to his feet. But he's running away at this point. He's going full Chelsea Chandler and getting on top of him. Here is Martinez. Martinez landing big shots and it is all over. It is all over. What is that? Heckin' like graphic on screen, T-K-O. <laughs> wow. Uh, apparently doesn't let me, I'll just email you guys or something. Yeah, yeah, that's all good hockey. I just bought a neon proper 12 light for my man cave. Nice. Islam beat Dustin the same way Habib did. Dustin pulls Gilly. It is over. All right. End of the fight, man. And we saw a finish. It was in the third round after two. And I don't mean long as in boring, but two rounds that like had a lot going on in them. And Alan Martinez gets the win. It's now on a four fight losing streak is uh, 
Hernandez. We got a title fight next to close out this card, ladies and gentlemen. I might, yeah, I got I to gotta eat between streams, but I'll, I'll, it'll be quick. I'm going to munch quickly, and then we'll jump back on. So I might miss the first fight of the Anthony Pettis card, but I'll adjust the stream time right now, actually. And I might hop on even a little bit, you know, earlier than what I change it to. I just, uh, what, I'll set it to in an hour, we'll start it. I don't think this one's going to go super late, but I do want to just quickly have a little break and grab some food before we uh, before we finish off the night with some Anthony Pettis FC. Mm -hmm. It's personalized, just saying, so that's why I want to print it out. Okay, got you. Again, I appreciate it. Uh, Dustin finally going to finish that gilly. Uh, my roommates got some Chinese food, and they included me in their takeout. So, Orange chicken. And some hot and sour soup because. Ugh, because my allergies are back and my nose is stuffed. Why well, no mukbang stream? I don't know. It's just like. I personally don't like listening to people eat all the. Slurping and chumming. I'm not a fan of that. So I don't want to put you guys through that. No, never. I will never do that. No, I haven't recorded Soda Pod yet, so I got to do that later tonight as well. Uh, good, bro. Hope all is well with you. What have you been up to this weekend, buddy? All right. Next fight. Main event of the evening. Let me update the ticker in the bottom of the screen. All right. Title fight next, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think it's five rounds. I I know Lux was, so maybe this one is, but most lower-level promotions don't have five rounds for their titles. I mean, you have Favors A1 Combat doesn't, for example. Shoot, I don't, I don't think Anthony Pettis has five rounds for their title either. I might be mistaken, and we'll see that tonight. Uh, bless you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Du, 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 du. Oh, fair enough, hockey. Fair enough. Yeah, you like your sweets. I don't have a big sweet tooth. I'm a savior over sweet. I may like two big meals a day and so much coffee could. Well, I don't even know. Just too much coffee. I got nothing. Just too much coffee. Okay, hockey fair. I, I won't. I won't. <laughs> I haven't decided since being on stream, but I'll let you know by tomorrow. Sweet are so overrated. I appreciate them. I understand why people like them. I just, I've never, like, I like some candies, but with me, it's like if I have a bag of candy, especially like gummies or something, I'm just going to eat them all in one sitting. I'm going to feel like shit and be like, oh, I regretted doing that. Um, and I, I and I don't snack much. I eat a meal when I'm hungry. I don't I don't snack. So even like chips and I mean maybe like trail mix. That's my shit. As I push up my glasses, I like raisins. So maybe sometimes I'll have some raisins available. Again, I'm granola hippie as fuck. I get it. I get it. Make fun of me. I like drugs over candy. I've noticed. I've noticed. Uh, most of my snacks are sweet, but I have a few savory comments not reading them on stream. I'm tempted by still my Twizzlers from Christmas. I like I like Twizzlers and like you know there's there's a lot of candies that I do like, but I never buy a candy. Or like if I made um like and I never buy cookies apparently because last night buddy gave them to us for free. But even then, like I've I've baked like some my dad is a bomb ass oatmeal cookie recipe, and every now and then I'll bake some cookies, but like and I mean, every once in a while, it's it's few and far between. I have no idea hockey from home. I have no idea, to be honest. I have no idea what Kyle's favorite candies are. I mean, it, probably if it's packaged, right? If it's open to no. But uh, you don't need to do that hockey, like I said. 
You don't need to do that. Oh, man. Everyone's calling me. Do, 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 do. Hold on, guys. We'll get right back to the action. Again, it's taken a little while for them to get to. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Uh, just watch when you can your package. <laughs> okay. Um, I didn't even know that there were different kinds. Original? But again, you don't have to do this, hockey. Uh, and yeah, guys, is there anybody in our live chat here who wants to go to one championship in Denver? Cage side tickets for about 400 in bulk. Let Degenerate Dane know. Degenerate Dane's also on Twitter as well. Um, so if you guys are on Twitter, you can connect with him there, but yeah, anybody in the live chat or our community who's interested. And like I said, hockey really appreciate that, but I, we never expected that. We just expected that you came in, liked, subscribed, pepper the live chat, which you do. So really appreciate that. All right. Main, um, main event here, title fight. Esteban Sabano, the challenger, which by the way, the belts are actually pretty cool. Matte black belt with like a bronze, uh, bronze coated lettering. Uh, five and one for Esteban Sedano. He is out of Mexico. He's only 23 years of age, ladies and gentlemen. Five and one as a pro four and one in his last five fights. He did win his last fight, though. He did win his last fight. Ooh, love the logo of his gym. That's awesome. Four KOTKO, zero submissions, one decision, four no in UWC. Um, he did win via doctor stop three seconds in the third round. It, like the cut must have been horrendous. But that, if this is accurate, that's kind of insane, to be perfectly honest. Um, lost when he took a step up in competition against Jamie Siraj. I was just gonna say he he sounds familiar. Did he not fight in Dana White Contender Series? No, just in the last BFL event. Where he beat him. Okay, so he fought in BFL. That's where I know this guy from. After that, came back to UWC. Beat a 4-0 guy, which is sweet. You know, took that step up in competition. Could again, it, couldn't get it done, but he is tough as nails. And he a legitimate prospect coming out of Mexico. Going up against the champ, the American out of Tucson, Arizona. He's 30 years of age, seven and two as a pro, four and one in his last five fights. Let's take a look at his resume. Look at all these belts upon belts upon belts upon belts, baby. Three KOT go, three submissions, one decision, one and oh in LFA, three and oh in Ultimate Warrior Championship, seven and 12. That was the last guy he beat was seven and 12. Well, at least he got a tune up fight after losing to a. Guy around his level at Fury C or FC, who's six and two for them, is on a three fight win streak where he beat a respectable seven and one guy, eight and five and three and one. That's actually not too bad. Split decision that you arrive favors A1 combat, which we've seen how the judges judge stuff there. It's, it's not always the best. And then beat a 2 0 guy when he was also 2 0. Four fights in the amateur scene as well. I'm going to say, and still. 30 years of age in his prime. This guy, I know he's fought some good guys. Um, he's still very young in his development. He's still got a lot of time still. He's only 23 years old. Um, this one should be a good fight. And, you know, he's tough. Like I said, we watched him fight on BFL. Was it, What did I say? It was 77? Um, but I think uh, Dorian Ramos gets this one. Like, yeah, I'm going in here blind, kind of. Saw, saw a little bit of uh, Sedano. But there we go. There we go. All right. Let me catch up with some of these comments. Oh, nice. I mean, I don't mind sour candies, but I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll probably like them all. Oh, yeah, it's better bang for about four for 1800 and three for th or eight, sorry, for 3500. Yeah. Uh, what a case. There you go. What a case is uh, interested. There you go. Hey, walking out in the Ortega. 
inspired purge mask is the champion Dorian Ramos. Cool belts, cool belts. It's something a little different. And from a small regional, regional show, a regional of a regional, um, you know, you, a more gimmicky but unique belt that looks fresh as fuck is actually is actually good. I like that. I like that. Fossil trip from Ireland. No, fair enough. And like I said, all stream hockey. I appreciate it. Yeah, I I did change it. Hockey from home. I'm pretty sure I just changed it. I dig his headband. Oh, nice. I thought I changed it. I streamed it starting half an hour later. But no, I can't be in two streams at the same time, Hockey, so I, I can't see what's in there. I thought I changed it. Animal Room meets City Lights cross promotion. I love it. I love it. Shout out to Rush Hour Fight Club in the Animal Room. It's only for me, it's from Alpha Zeta. Well, I appreciate it from Luca and Alpha Zeta as well. You guys are amazing. Okay, I did change it. Yeah. All right. Last fight of the card, ladies and gentlemen. Title fight here. We have the prospect up against the champion. And I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna say and still. I'm gonna say and still. Sedano can take a lot of damage, though, and seemingly in a little bit better shape than that of uh, Dorian Ramos. Let's, let's be perfectly honest. Let's, let's call it for what it is. But, I mean, I ain't going to judge a book by its cover. I got to see what this 7-2 and two guy can do. Hoggy's going with the champion as well. All right. Fighters will be introduced in the cage, and then we'll get started, guys. Again, big shout out to everyone who hung out with us here today. Appreciate you guys. We will be doing uh, a large chunk of Anthony Pettis FC. Trust me, I'll, I'll be jumping on there soon. I just, after this one, I got to just grab something to eat quick. Do a quick little stretch, take a quick break, and then we will be back. So I set it for uh, 45 minutes to start. That's what we're going to aim for. Oh, there's a little cheeky. Instead of giving him a little fist bump, he kind of walked behind him as he did his lap of the cage. All right, so same height. Both of them made, you know, the weight. Um, wow, more of a reach is Sedano, by the way. Six inches, or sorry, six centimeters. Oh, okay, that, that's not as bad. I was going to be like, six inches of reach, six centimeters of reach. Uh, favor favored Sedano. I was like, what is this, Canada? So now, uh, by second round, lock it in. Second round KO, locking it in. Let's go. Thanks for the <laughs> eating. Such a casual move. I know, I know. But my roommates got me some food, so I want to go up and at least like say thank you and chill with them for like five, ten minutes <laughs> before we come back here. All right. Main event in this gymnasium coming up next year. I mean, we got cheerleaders and ring girls, ladies and gentlemen. We've got the whole shebang here in Mexico. Final reading of the sponsors, too. Good guy. <laughs> Rubet. We bet in the house on. I'm betting the house on and still, but now you guys are uh you're le <laughs> you make me nervous. You're making me nervous, especially seeing uh again, I don't I hate to judge a book by its cover, but seeing the I mean this 23-year-old athlete's body against this 30-year-old who I was like, Oh yeah, he's gonna be in his prime, he's ready to go. And it's like, oh god. He looks like he drank more cervezas than I did this weekend, but I'm not judging a book by its cover. I gotta see him in the first round here before I'm really scared. Honestly, like probably the sour ones when I was younger, because those came in what, like the green package. Um, but I don't think anyone, any others, because again, I don't buy candy. So it's like whatever maybe I got for Halloween or like school or things like that. 
Only casuals uh, eat as a day. day. That's funny. Yeah. Well, he's he's not wrong. He's not wrong. Oh man, I'm scared. I'm scared. You guys are gonna beat me on my pick for sure. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my god. Gotcha. Then I'm gonna give you a pack of each. Oh, you, again, you're far too kind talking from home. I'm just glad that you're here. The OG. I've had those before. I've definitely had those before. All right. The champion is being introduced to... Uh, I mean, there's people there. I wouldn't say it's a big crowd. It, it's... I wonder if they, like, play, like... They must do other sporting events here because they have, like, other sponsors. and But, but it's just, like... I swear this looks like a, a high school or university gym. I know, I know. Like I said, I'm not judging a book by its cover, though. Let's see it. Let's see how let's see how he can fight. He's the champ for a reason. Again, hockey. I, I would say please don't do that. I I know you would, and that's what I appreciate, but please don't do that. I got some candy from a special store there in Las Vegas next to the strip. Oh my goodness. Hey, what's up, Curtis Clark? Good to see you, man. It's honestly for lower level Mexican MMA, like arguably a lower level than Lux. It's actually been a pretty good card. Let's go. All right, round one, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, there are five rounds. There are five rounds in this title fight. I'm not sure, hockey. I think more savory. Good to see you, Curtis Clark. Hope you hope you've been having a good weekend, buddy. Look for the takedown. Here is Ramos. Yeah, I just I just don't have a big sweet tooth hockey. That's why I don't uh, buy Skittles. It's not a big candy guy. Oh, a nice left and a right by Ramos. They separate. Back in the center of the cage. Right hand by Sedano. Sedano looking for another straight punch. Nice head movement by Sedano. Throws that left. Doesn't land, but tried to follow it up with a right uppercut. Low kick inside and outside for Sedano. Ramos didn't like that, and he desperately looking for the takedown again, and he gets it up against the cage. On his feet, though, right now is Ramos. Holding the knees together, clamping them together. Sedano trying to drag him off the cage here. Or to try to just force his way into side control, which he does. Or uh, half guard. Again, hockey, you really don't have to do that. I appreciate I appreciate uh, the sentiment, though. Trying to get back up to his feet. Do not grab the cage. Hey, he didn't. Sedano trying to get back up to his feet, but really clamping that left leg is Ramos. I'm trying not to be a fan of candy. I mean, I'm not going to be one of those high horse motherfuckers who's like, oh, it's it's so bad, I don't eat it. Like, if available, I'll eat it. And that's probably the problem. It's like coffee. If I have coffee in my house, I'm going to drink as much of it all the time that I can. But I never have the craving to go spend my money on that. Three minutes on the clock. I'm not going to mukbang hockey. I, I, don't, I don't like those. It's not for me, so I'm not going to do it for others. I don't like hearing people chomp and... Yeah, it's... It's got the negative effect. I don't, it's it's uncomfortable, so I don't want to do it to other people. Two minutes and 30 seconds on the clock. Nice clinch by Ramos. Oh, but a big knee by Sedano. As Ramos is desperately looking for that left single leg. Seriously, hockey, please don't. You, you do not have to, and I, and I and I would rather you not. But because I, I hockey, I appreciate that you would, but I'm asking you, please don't. You don't have to do that. I'm not a big candy guy, but I, I respect and uh, appreciate the sentiment. That's all I need. I'm with Ishan Candy. I'm not ever going to do a mukbang stream, though. But if I did, you'd be, you'd be in the chat. Two minutes and four seconds on the clock. Trying to get into mount here, but Sedano asks the map back to the cage. He's not flattened. But if Ramos can push him to the ground and flatten him, he can get him into mount. So he's technically in mount now, and he flattens him out. Flattens him out, full mount. Hooks. Let's see if Ramos can do some damage. <laughs> Degenerate Dane's like, send it to me. I'll take it. 
It's good. None of us need candy. Oh, big left hands by Ramos here. Forcing Sedano to scramble. Into side or into half guard now. Oh, damn. It was got a weird vibe for sure. Yeah, I don't, I don't even watch them. Like, it's just not, I just don't like listening to people eat. I like food and I watch like food. I don't even watch food reviews. I watch like cooking stuff because I like cooking. Inside control now is Ramos. One minute on the clock. But I don't like watching people. Uh, LSD sugar soluble. That is true. Um, I like a pen that works. So I'll definitely use them. I go through, I write, I write more than I type. So I will definitely use it, hockey. Form 40 seconds on the clock, by the way, and just domination here by Ramos and the grappling and employing some good ground and pound as well. Hockey, don't ask for people's address in live chats. Come on. Uh is fight pass because that's A is not going to give it to you. And please just don't do that. Uh, is Fight Pass well worth nine bucks a month? I think it is. It's like the Netflix of fights. And if you're a fight junkie might, like myself who is interested in like regional shows like this, definitely. Uh, yeah, Dane, how about that weird lady that eats stuff live? Uh, watch people eat gross, hot, or sour. Uh, I funny a fuck to watch. <laughs> What's up, West Coast? How's your weekend going, brother? And that's end of the first round, guys. End of the first round. How's your weekend going, dude? Oh, jeez. Oh, what's your favorite Poirier hot sauce? I've only had the maple one. They didn't have like the the original or the other one at the grocery store when I went to buy it. So I should try the other ones. I mean, things that are alive. I will hockey. Thanks for weighing in. What a case. It should be a bit cheaper in my opinion, but it has some decent stuff. Hey, cheers, man. Cheers. All right. Round two is about to begin. I swear they get more of a minute in this league. All right. Round two. Let's get it all. Hockey. Please, you do not have to get me anything. I don't want you to get me anything. I appreciate the sentiment, though. Really, I do. Four minutes and 50 seconds on the clock. The ghost pepper one got my mouth on fire right now. Oh, I do like ghost pepper. Four minutes and 48 seconds. Okay, I'm pretty sure Kyle will say the same thing as me. All we ask is that, you know, you join us in our live chats, watch the fights with us. Yeah, don't don't need you to send send anything. We really appreciate it, though. Like I said, I really appreciate the sentiment, but everything we talk about in this chat, you don't have to send me. If I need it, I'll go pick it up. But again, appreciate you. Four minutes and 25 seconds on the clock, and we're almost right back for the takedown. Right back for the takedown. Ask the map back to the cage by Sedano. KO in this round. Well, then please don't send anything else, Hockey. Getting the, the appreciation's there. On his feet, looking to try to readjust here, but a good job by Sedano for pushing his back up against the cage. Well, that's why I don't want you to send anything right now, Hockey. You're a student. I want you to save your money. And that's why I don't expect uh, donations. I don't expect memberships. All I want you guys to hang out with us, subscribe, like. That's all I ask. I know, Hoggy's got a grocery list for me. Okay, good job. Uh, good stuff, good stuff. Thank you. Hoggy got a grocery list, yeah. <laughs> Three minutes and 24 seconds on the clock. Modified half guard side control right here, but again, Ramos just... Keeping Sedano close to the cage, so even though it limits, you know, some of the damage, some of the potential, you know, submission threats, for example, that Ramos maybe could put on Sedano, 
it does give him a, give Sedano a way harder time to scramble. So he's keeping him here, looking to try to get into full mount, and he does. Beautiful pass to mount there by Ramos. Again, with little to no space. Now he is pushing the head and shoulders of Sedano up against the cage here. I know, Hawk, you've said that a bunch, and again, I say I appreciate you, but you do not have to do that. And uh, I feel like I'm repeating myself over and over again now. Uh, I hope I hope that you know that we appreciate it, but I don't want you to spend your money. If if you're like you said, you're broke, you're a student. Uh, I just want you to hang out with us here. And you keep repeating it over and over again, and I'm I'm trying to let you know that I appreciate it, but uh, you really don't have to. Two minutes and fifteen seconds on the clock. Trying to pull Sedano back from the cage. Landing some big shots to the body here is Ramos. Is this about over? Not really. And this one might go a while. This one might go a while. We're at 1 minute 55 seconds on the clock in the second round. And we have five rounds. That's right. UWC is five round titles. Which, hey, prepare you guys to go the, uh, to potentially have to go two extra rounds in a developmental league. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. One minute, 35 seconds on the clock. Yeah, and please tell them I don't expect anything from them either, uh, hockey from home. One minute, 29 seconds on the clock. Left hand by Ramos. Again, ass to the mat, back to the cage by Sedano. He's trying to use this as a defense now. Try not to give his neck up either. As one left hook is in for Sedano. And use that to push down Sedano. Sorry, one left hooking for Ramos. Use that to push Sedano now to push his back and top shoulders off the cage. Yeah, sorry, Hawk, but you just keep bringing it up and it's like, I know I'm, 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 I'm trying to tell you how appreciative I am, but I'm also trying to tell you that I we, do, we never asked for that and we never expected that from you guys. 44 seconds on the clock. Oh, I'm trying to get into full mount again here is Ramos, but a good job of Sedano for clinching the knee there. <laughs> I'm chill, I'm chill. Now Hawk is getting mad at me for being appreciative. <laughs> Teasing. 15 seconds on the clock. Ten seconds on the clock here. In the full guard. He did a good job of passing in these positions before, but definitely making the most of his grappling here and utilizing ground and pound, being the more active fighter, keeping the challenger, Sedano, constantly defense, constantly having to scramble. So yeah, that's that's two two rounds to none so far. Again, didn't want to judge him before I saw him fighting. Good game plan here. Good game plan here. All right, third round coming up. Yeah, and like I said, hockey, I, I we really appreciate it. Uh, no grappling from Sedano. <laughs> Rip. Yeah, his striking, the, the little we saw anyways, looked good. But right away, Ramos goes, all right, grappling time. I'm listening while I'm doing a chore outside. Nice, thank I appreciate it, Amberly. One more fight here, then we're gonna take a little bit of a break, and I'll, I will jump on Anthony Pettis. I'll be a little, I'll be a little late, guys. I'll be a little late. I was hoping this would be done right now, and then I could take like a quick five to ten minute break, come back on for eight thirty, but might be even a little bit later now. Uh, he's just uh he's just a guest appearance, so APFC. It's good marketing. They always bring in some name fighters, active or or former big names to uh I think they like they cross promote each other stuff if one has a brand or like Uriah Faber, I'm pretty sure was there once and he was like talking about his league. Um and then it just helps sell the show, right? Which is we're just smart. Uh four minutes and thirty seconds on the clock. A sweat warmer. Western Mass Climber, yeah, special guest of sort. Uh, four minutes and 20 seconds on the clock. 
No, I know hockey. And like I said, I, I appreciate it. I'm just letting you know that I don't expect, we never expect that. And you don't have to, you don't have to keep adding stuff to it and, or anything like that. But you've talked to Kyle already. And you know, like I said, I'm, I'm just really, uh, I'm just really stoked that you're here and that you show the support to the channel. Uh, thinking about buying Fight Pass for this one. Uh, I mean, I'll say this. If you're going to buy Fight Pass just because you want to watch these two fights, it's not like worth these two fights, but it's collectively worth the LFA being able to watch Cage Fury FC, the Canadian regionals, um, MMA uh, or Unified MMA BFL. I'm pretty sure Karate Combat's also on Fight Pass now. Oh, and a little low kick there by Ramos as they still are on the feet. Um, Anthony Pettis FV, FC, Rye Favors A1 Combat. Like, like I said, it's like the Netflix for regional shows. Cage Warriors is on there as well. So in the, it, it is worth it, in my opinion, in the grand scheme of things. Who's all going to the Frozen Tundra NCAA? In the Frozen Four? It's Denver, Michigan, Boston College, and Boston University. Um, and know in hockey, I do. I just, I'm, I, I felt like I've told you how appreciative I've been this whole stream hockey. Uh, it's only two fights. No, 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 no. It's not only two fights. Uh, there's quite a bit of fights. They had so many prelims on today, by the way. And sorry, guys, we're in the third round right now, and Ramos is looking to take it down to the ground, and he gets him to the ground again near the cage. I'm pretty sure we know how this is going to end now, or how this round is going to go. No, so there were how many prelim fights? There was a ton of prelim fights as they started at 3 p.m. Eastern. So this event's been going on for a while. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight main card fights. 16 fights overall, eight main card fights. I'll rebroadcast it all for that. I'm old enough to remember when there were Fight Pass exclusive UFC cards. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's funny. In Canada, there is no ESPN+. Plus, So all of those fight nights are on Fight Pass. Or a good chunk of them are a Fight Pass. And a chunk of them are on now Sportsnet, but TSN prior. Uh, for sure, hockey. For sure. Yeah, I'm saying I want to watch APFC. I think I'll go for it. Do it up. Do it up. It's a Netflix of fights. Sorry for sniffing away, guys. My allergies are just hitting me hard here today. And they're getting worse as I stream. One minute and 45 seconds on the clock. Third round. We have two more if needed. And just grinding away at Sedano here is Ramos. Keeping his legs clamped, his knees clamped. And just even though Sedano's butt is to the cage or butt is to the mat and back is to the cage, he's just taking short shots here. And he's, he's not really blitzing or scrambling to get out of this. Hey, you can't just stay in this position. Ramos is going to try to get into mount again. One minute and 16 seconds. One minute. Bunch of lefts to the body. Trying to flatten out. Sedano here is Ramos. Now he's threatening maybe a choke. He's got that right arm around the neck, but I don't think he wants it. I think he wants to pull him down. What's up, JC? Good to see you. One fight that was an upset for the main event too. Bro, you missed it. Yeah, I saw Ursa lost. Oh, I will. My lips are sealed, hockey. LFA, Cage Fear, FC, Cage Wars, and Lux make fight pass worth it. Hell Yeah. There's some bigger shots from the top position now. 24 seconds on the clock. The thing is, Sedano's not doing much on defense here at all at this point. He's just kind of surviving. Ramos isn't like going crazy as far as using all that's in his gas tank here either. He knows probably a slow burn. This is a five. This is a five round fight, and he's gonna make it that. Under my woods, I just heard a huge bird, like a turkey, I think, or a turkey vulture take off. Oh wow! Some some big flap. Flapping sounds, I guess. Flapping in the wind. There's a bunch of turkey vultures out here and uh in, even in the cities. I don't think we we don't think that we have them back home on Vancouver Island. All right, first of two championship rounds. 
Hell yeah, hockey. Sounds good. Yes. No more spoiling. And again, I appreciate you. Front kick by that of Ramos. Some of his highlights there. Pretty much the only really thing he had on his feet. Didn't really land too much strikes. As Sedano, definitely the better boxers we saw in the first round and glimpses in the second, but just kind of gave up that position and didn't scramble too much to get back up. Maybe he's not used to this five-round fights either, but the champion is. And again, despite us saying that the young guy's in better shape, oh, look, he looks more defeated. He's already breathing heavy. And the champion looks loose and ready to go. Flapping sound. Hockey, I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> Excuse me. Four minutes and 55 seconds. You like If you look it up, you probably know on Google or something, estimated time. Four minutes and 40 seconds on the clock. Sedano stuffing the takedown of Ramos. Sedano with the left and the right. Sedano's really just going to have to go for it here. Big round or big right hand by Sedano. He needs... Yeah, the broadcast thing it too. He needs a knockout. He needs a knockdown. He needs to really show the judges some striking here because he really doesn't have the grappling. It's, it's not on Ramos's level. Outside low kick by Ramos. Oh, nice checking of the kick there by Ramos. Ramos is smiling. He's loose. He knows he's up three rounds right now. Someone cheese getting clapped in the woods. Cheese. Sounds good, hockey. Thank you so much. We'll see you then. Three minutes and 55 seconds on the clock. Overhand right by Ramos. Left by Ramos. Three minutes and 41. Inside low kick. By Sedano. Ooh, Ramos just ate a right. This is Ramos... Just throwing his like double legs or, or shooting for the single leg, he's having a hard time getting the takedown. He's he's done his best work and he's been successful dragging Sedano to the ground off the cage. Straight left by Sed or by Ramos. Oh man. Big shots by both these guys. Each of them utilizing their jab well. But again, Sedano, if anything, like Ramos backing closer to the cage here might actually be a good plan for him. If he can clinch up against Ramos, he can employ his game plan again. Oh, again, excuse me, guys. Sorry about that. It's getting worse as the stream uh, goes on. And the Rutolo brothers invented a new submission on their fights called the uh, Rutolo Teen. I can't believe they each got the 50 bonus again. Like, I know they did good. Glad that Tynan got the bonus, but it's like they always, if the Rutolo brothers are on a one card, you know they're getting 50 grand. Two minutes and 10 seconds on the clock. Knee by Ramos. Two minutes left in this fourth round, ladies and gentlemen. Now Ramos is getting the better of Sedano on the feet. Double F jab and a right hand. Hawk, you never have to apologize about that. It's all good. I have your best interest in, in, in mind, right? I don't do this so that you can send me candy. That's not what I want. I just want to hang out and watch fights with you guys. So I appreciate the sentiment, like I said. But there's no expectation for that, and it's all good. You're all good. We're all good. One minute and 25 seconds. And uh, Cade Ru Rutolo going to have his MMA debut on June under the stamp card. Yes. I remember we were talking about that a little bit last week. How's your weekend been, JC? One minute and 14 seconds on the clock. Looking for that single leg, and he's had an issue getting that single leg, but eventually gets it, continues to push through it, and actually ends up tripping Sedano to ultimately get it. 
Sedano, ass to the mat, back to the cage like we've seen all freaking fight. You have Kyle's music on now? Nice. Oh, my apologies, guys. My allergies are getting like worse by the second. So Anthony Pettis might be a game time decision. After I eat, we'll see. Maybe I can get some, maybe I'll get some allergy medicine actually. Me, me and my roommates will have some because it's getting worse, guys. It's getting worse. Boo. It's fine, dude. Just a little bummed yourself lost because of the knockdown. The immortal, not so immortal anymore. A lot of people are saying that like he might choose to go to glory now, but I don't think glory's on the up and up. I think one championship will probably still pay him more. And K1's just humming right now. They're like in a tournament, so I don't know. I don't think Crush will be able to pay him enough. End of the fourth round. We go into our final round here, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let me update this again. Yeah, even the rest are like, yeah, we'd be friendly even to say, but he's up 3-1. He should be up all four. No, I know hockey. I know. Now I understand why you're doing all that stuff yesterday, birthday weekend. Yeah, yeah, birthday weekend. I was struggling with that hot sauce drained me. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, maybe maybe I just need some habanero pepper. So Donald needs a stoppage or, or it's over. Yeah. Yeah, he uh he looked good early in the first, but as soon as soon as Ramos got the takedown, it was over. I mean, you could maybe still argue that he won the first round, maybe, but as soon as soon as Ramos got the takedown, over. And it's not like he like this hasn't been the most exciting fight, but Ramos did have a tremendous game plan and he's been active on the ground. Hoppy Ramos is winning. Firso goes to glory, then he can vacate the Muay Thai belt too. That's true. Uh, hockey, I don't know the exact time, but it was like early evening. Well before 7. I think between 4 and 5 or 4.30 and 5.30. 4 minutes and 42 seconds on the clock. Straight left and a right by Sedano. Fourth Let's round, or fifth off. round, ladies and gentlemen. Final round here for all the marbles. Sedano, if he wants that belt, he has to knock out his opponent. He ain't submitting them, I'll tell you that much. Hobby's got, or sorry, Hockey has got Ramos for a prediction. Yep, I went through the champ too. Nice left and a right by Ramos. And Sedano throws a one-two right back at him. Ramos goes for the takedown. Doesn't get it. Nice knee by Sedano. Left jab by Ramos. Sounds good, hockey. We'll see you there. Outside low kick by Ramos. Three minutes and 49 seconds on the clock. <laughs> Hardly, Roman, but it's good to see you, buddy. The house is safe for another weekend. How's your weekend been, Roman? I was scared upon seeing his walkout, but again, never judge a book by its cover. He is the better fighter. He is more well-rounded. This guy gassed early, as I don't think he expected to be smothered. His striking is better. His technique, as far as striking, is better, but he's got little to no takedown defense when a guy five rounds in is still able to take him down, a guy who didn't really succeed with the double legs or single legs earlier in the fight. And Ramos gets a, gets a takedown again. Ass to the mat, back to the cage for Sedano. That has been the story of this title fight. Feels good. That's good, buddy. Oh, this might be comment of the night. This might be comment of the night. Because I'm not breaking in. The bars have not been removed from the window. We are good, ladies and gentlemen. Yep, GG. Two minutes and 36 seconds on the clock. Now, if this was a straight kickboxing match, our boy Ramos would probably get his ass kicked. Although he did throw together some good combos late or in the third round and in the fourth there. But you could see Sedano was defeated before the fourth round. 
I'm either getting sick or allergies are hitting me all at once here. But other than that, I'm awesome, buddy. And it's good to see you. That'll be your first comment of the night. You've definitely been in the running before. I'm pretty sure the other breaking house comment got fight of the night. Whatever one makes me laugh the most or is, is, or is just the best. But it can't be forced, hockey. Can't be forced. If I see that you're doing it on purpose to try to win fight of the, or to win comment of the night, you likely won't win comment of the night. That's the beautiful thing about comment of the night. Akimoto versus the K1 champ in China next month too. Dude, I can't wait. K1 is back, baby. K1 is back. One minute and 35 seconds on the clock and good job controlling Sedan on the ground here in that modified half guard side control. Knees are planted, utilizing those left or right elbows after he pushes his pushes Ramos's neck down a little bit as Ramos keeps trying to sit up Ask the map back to the cage, but Ramos keeps pulling his legs or torso backwards. One minute, 14 seconds. I probably won't win hockey. I ain't that witty. <laughs> Sounds good. And the crowd wants more excitement, but this is this is how you retain your title with ease. It's mixed martial arts for a reason. Yeah, you can put together boring fights at times. I wouldn't even say that this one's the worst because at least Ramos has been like somewhat active. This round is not the best, but at least up until the fourth, like passing guard with these, getting into mount, landing some shots. And every time Sedano got back up to the feet, they scrapped a bit before he got the takedown. So not the worst regional title fight. There have been many, many worse ones, ladies and gentlemen, than this. What fighter would you fought? Zero. Zero. Uh, <laughs> but you know the comment of the night works. And again, it's 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 subjective. It's subjective. He got up. Wow, incredible. Highlight of the night. And now he's looking to get... Oh, I thought he was going to get slammed with that double leg. I thought he was going to get slammed with that double leg. Great stuffing of the takedown. Here we go. Final seconds of the fight. Just go crazy, Sedano. Just go crazy. Try to land that Hail Mary random shot. And that is it. He throws a high kick, but too little. End of the fight. Unbelievable. Wow. Great, great, flawless defense from the champion, ladies and gentlemen. A lawless defense from the champion. Went five full rounds, arguably controlled every single one of them. Every single one of them. Wow. All right, guys. Just awaiting the official decision, and we'll hang up the gloves, and I'll take a quick break. Hopefully, we come back. Hopefully, like... Hopefully, I'm not getting sick, but hey. After uh, the day and night I had yesterday, mixed with allergies, which definitely have hit now that it's been raining here. Um, we'll see how I feel in about half an hour or so. All right. Da -da 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 -da. No one will vote for me, hockey. Bit slap KO <laughs> and stew. Amberly definitely said hi to you, hockey. Many times. She said hi to all three of your accounts, I think. I'm gonna fight my hater, and his name is Steven. He's a hobo. Oh. Cause he messes with me all the time. I will I'll fuck him up. Oh shit. Well, I hope he doesn't pick on you. Cause if so, fuck that guy. But uh don't hurt him too much. Don't hurt him too much. Don't don't condone you to go beat up uh, some random person I don't know about. But I hope he's not picking on you because screw him if he is. Because you're a good guy, Roman. Uh, I set it. To, I set it to nine Eastern now. But I, I might come back a little earlier. Hot date A. <laughs> 
Yeah, it was some orange chicken that my roommate that my roommates bought me. I came out with the K1 champ of China next month. Hope Akimoto wins so that Hagerty versus Akimoto can be built up. Yes. In Japan on the same card with Let's make it happen. Why well, he's gonna fight a homeless guy, apparently. Tate night. Make sure to record it. World star. All right, listening in for the judge's decision. We know how it's going to go, though. And still, featherweight champion, ladies and gentlemen, Dorian Ramos. Let's freaking go. Sorry, hockey. I don't date Leafs fans. I made that mistake once. Never happened again. I'll ne it will never happen again. Nothing personal, but it's kind of personal because I couldn't, I could never date a Leafs fan. All right, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out. And guys, another big shout out to those who re up their memberships, those who donated again, never asked for donations, never asked for memberships, but I will give you guys a shout out if you do so. Cause I really, really a thousand times really appreciate it. Palman, Anthony, Hoggy from home, red or uh, Reaper Jones, GCN picks, Robert. Seriously, guys, thank you. Thank you. A thousand times. Thank you. Just a little anticlimactic announcement. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Uh, I I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of Leafs fans, so there's probably there's probably a few who do. Those those uh those southern okay, I'm not even gonna get into it. I'm not even gonna get into it. <laughs> oh my goodness. There you go. What a case says. Uh yes, I do, sir. There you go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Again, big shout to what a case, big shout to Hogan from Home, Amberly, Western Mass, John, everybody here, Roman the Faster. Appreciate every single one of you who joined us here today. JC, I know, Charles Barkley. We had the whole crew jump in here. We had the whole crew jump in here. Really appreciate you guys. Ganskow as well. Um, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to eat something. I will let you guys know if I'm not feeling up to doing the stream, but uh, I'll probably be fine. Uh, and, then I'll, and if so, I'll come back in like 40 minutes, okay? Thank you guys so much for all the support you show this channel. Seriously, you guys are amazing. Like... Yeah, I, I can't say enough good things about you guys. You guys are awesome. Without you, there would be no City Life. So appreciate you guys. Love watching these crazy random promotions and the big ones with you guys as well. And uh, we'll be back next week strong with uh, with all the big leagues, UFC 300 and more. So with that being said, I'm going to take a break. Hopefully feel up to jumping back on stream. And if I do so, it will be in like half an hour or so. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Ho again, hoping it's just allergies. Hopefully something, nothing else is brewing, but... It's seemingly getting worse as we go. So I'm going to just take a break, relax, and um, it will be a game time decision. But uh, thank you so much for everything, Amberly, as well, too. You guys are awesome. And with that being said, I'm out. Have a great rest of your evening. If I don't see you, have a great rest of your weekend. And if I do see you, well, we'll continue to shoot the breeze then. Like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Peace. Yeah. Yeah.